Ooh. Well done. Of course I want to do pink. What would I not want? Is this is it this one here next to me? Oi. What's the question? What if you listened? I am I am microphoned up. I know you're bantering, but you're missing what I'm saying. Is it this tea bar here is what I'm asking you? You don't no, great. Could be it could be one of a few things though, Phil. That's the problem, darling. I, I need to know what it's looking like. Cause Cause it, sorry, I've got a few sapphires here. I could Yeah, I'm trying to guess. Mm, could be, could be yes. Thank you, darlings. There was a couple of pink sapphires it could have been then. Yes, we were build, building a little bit of suspense there, weren't we? Hey, <laughs> sorry, darlings, but I do. Oh, ooh, ooh, pink sapphires. Gosh, they're strong, Phil. That really is phenomenal, that pink sapphire. Do you know why I love sapphire? Do you know why? Because it's one of those gemstones that firstly everybody knows. So when everybody says, oh, what are you wearing? You go, oh, sapphire. But then people go, oh, it's pink. And you go, mm -hmm, yes, I know. So you get, because you, you, people expect to see blue. So straight away you've got a bit of a conversation starter. But then also, because it's such a hard gemstone, only diamonds. There is only two gemstones that are nine out of ten. Ten being the hardest with a diamond. Only two. Now, that's ruby and sapphire because they're effectively the same gemstone. Um, and it's only those that can be surpassed by diamonds. So no other jewellery other than diamonds and rubies can beat this in hardness. And the reason hardness is so important is actually you can wear it all the time. You don't have to save it for best. That's See, I, I don't know about you, but if I've got a piece of jewellery that I've made, or somebody's made for me that I love, I want to wear it. I want to wear it to death. Absolutely. I don't want to take it off. I've got a pink sapphire engagement Which, ring. Uh, pink sapphire yeah, really engagement ring. It really is a conversation start because everybody so, sort of says, oh, what's that? Because yeah. coloured gemstones are making a big, yeah. big comeback when it comes to engagement yeah. rings, aren't they? All the big stars mm -hmm. are going for coloured. You lucky thing. It shows itself as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did he propose with a ring then, or what? Mm, kind of. Oh, oh, I've got a, a double, story. A double proposal. A double proposal? Yeah. By the same bloke? Yeah. I'll just check it. <laughs> it was like, he proposed, know, and then he proposed properly. Oh, OK. Yeah. Yeah. And then he sort of said, I want that one. <laughs> well... I think we need a bit more of that story later on, Katie. Uh, right then, do you fancy the naughtiest price ever? That means nobody else has ever been able to get it. Oh, hello. Oh, my word. Eleven ninety-five. Now, again, I went into this shopping complex at Resorts World, found a little spotty um, ski tox. I'm going skiing next month. Now, the top had been reduced, and that was eleven ninety-nine For this little top that they obviously, you know, there's a cotton top. That eventually he's going to give, obviously. He's going to wear it a few times, you know. Or sapphire. That's why I like to go shopping. Do you? And I know down price points of which we sell gemstones at. Like this little spotty top today that was in the sale. Just a little cotton thin top, you know. To go into your salopettes. And, um, and then I think, but then we're bringing you ruby. Can you, I'd love to do this in a shop. Have the shop today with these spotty tops on. They look cute. But then have your pink sapphire next to it. What do you think everybody's going to go for? Honestly. It's got to be the sapphire. Gotta be got the got sapphire. Be, yeah. When you see two prices next to each other, a, 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 a cotton top versus a stunning pink sapphire. Jane, uh, Tatiana, Linda, Denise. Wow. Eleven ninety-five. Now can I also add in, I don't know if it is you, Jane, because it just said Jane. Now today I have had delivered to work the most beautiful bouquet of um, freesias in a vase with a little box of chocolates and it's from the most beautiful message from somebody called Jane. I don't know if it is you, Jane, in, in, in Manet Loire, or whichever Jane it is, if you're watching, I'll try and find out who you are because it didn't say where you were from, but I was so touched, so um, got myself a bit emotional, I did, in the office, so they're beautiful. I've made everybody sniff them. Just to experience a freesia. 
They're the best smelling flower, in my opinion, on the planet. Mm, beautiful. So, thank you. Thank you. Oh, have we got those last few serpents? I bought, oh, I bought this. I bought this. I bought this, if I can see it. Everything's a bit... I can't see anything. That's the problem. Let's just... Excuse me a second. Just see if I can see things. There they are. Oops, a daisy. Oop, come here. Now, this is the one I bought. I saw this the first time, and I just went straight up, straight off it. I thought, oh, please be some left when I came off it. And there were. Look. I've not Nine. seen those. Is, aren't they lovely? Fantastic, aren't they? They're beautiful. I think they're gorgeous. <gasps> Two grams of sterling silver. The bracelet is ready to wear. It's not just 925 sterling silver. It's rhodium plated as well, so that makes it harder, makes it more durable, makes it anti-tarnishing as well. Part of the platinum family. And then they are absolutely ablaze with brilliant sparkle because that serpent is encrusted from head to tail in sparkling, brilliant cubic zirconia. And you have just got the loveliest, beautiful bracelet. Isn't it lovely? Now we're going to take a big, a big amount of money off that for you. We're going to slither on down to twenty-one ninety-five. Did you like the slither? Did you like the? the did you like it, Marty? Well, I like the way you said slither. No, Mike, I'm not mm. saying that. It's, well, it wasn't clever. It's clever in your head, darling. But it, the nation don't need to see it. The world, no. Does it smell funny in this studio, or is it me? I can smell cabbage. Sorry, everybody, I just could smell cabbage. I just thought I'd share that with you. Sorry, I do apologise. Because just suddenly smell cabbage. Anyway. Um, so, can I just say, be warned, if you do treat yourself or you treat a friend to this bracelet, if they have the same experience that I've had when I wear mine, everybody asks you, where did you get it from? So just to mention, you know, just to, just to you know, if you, if you don't like people coming and going, you know, I oh, you got a lady in Marks and Spencer, so, oh, I like your bracelet. I said, do you? She went, where did you get it from? I said, jewellery maker. She went, what's that? So I had to have this whole conversation about jewellery maker in Marks and Spencer's at the checkout with this lovely lady. And she said she's going to be watching. So, Sylvia, who I met today, if you are watching, hello. I met Sylvia in Marks and Spencer's. I did. Anyway. I love the name Sylvia. I've got a lovely friend. Sylvia. It's, got, it's very lovely lyrical, isn't it? Isn't it? Like yeah. Sylvia. And that lovely song, Sylvia's mother. That's your... It was my grandmother's name. It was your grandmother's name. Oh, Sylvia. Sylvia. Sylvia's mother said... <laughs> Hi, Zina, Katie and Jane. Looking forward to a great evening. Oh, my word. Nikki sent me a birthday card, didn't you, Nikki? She made this beautiful triangular key ring all out of seed beads. It's a work of art. <sighs> beautiful. Oh. Hello, you, Nikki. Janet. Hello, gorgeous girls. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, we'll take that, won't we? We will. Oh, Janet, we love you. <laughs> Lovely to see your smiling faces. After three horrible days, you are brightening my evening. Thank you. Oh, what have you had horrible days, Janet? Weather? Tell me it's just the weather. Janet. Oh, Jane, question mark, question mark, kiss, kiss. What? Pardon? Even sorry. Did you, did you send a message and it hasn't sent through? Yeah, just, just let us know, because we don't know what you mean. Lovely Jane. Janet, why, now we need to know why Janet's had three bad days. Is it just the weather? Are you all right? Don't like people having three bad days. That's a yeah. lot of bad days, back to back. That's, that's a lot. The ja weather has been horrible. The weather has been yeah. a bit. Mind you, I went out and gardened all day yesterday. At home. I gardened. Oh, it snowed all day yesterday for us. Oh, I mean, it was snowing and raining, but yeah. I still gardened. Oh. I planted my daffodil bulbs, got all my weeds up, got all my uh, leaves up. I'd got... Trickling down my face was that cold, but I thought I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It's very attractive. I did a garden all day. I was so proud of myself. It was freezing when I got in. <gasps> you know, when you skin it under your jeans and your trousers go bright red <gasps> oh, and they sting because yeah. you're that cold. Yeah, but then you just need to get all nice and cosy. Nice. Oh, I did. Oh, Hot I... chocolate or something. Didn't know. All right. Oh, it's been. Oh, now I've got. Oh, I have. Have we got any. Oh, you got. Can you see if you can find a 
grey. Or Emma. Oh, no, we can't have many of these left. We cannot have many of these left. Say that again because I lost you, you both went off completely. Ah, there are just about 50 odd chances remaining. Um, I've even got purples, thank you Leah. I've even got purples in these Labradorites, they are absolutely knockout. If you are thinking about getting involved because we've done some great wire um, deals over the, when we had the uh, under 10 and the clearance and things. And if you've got any of those fantastic, there you go, look, I just want to look at that. When I turn that there, can you see on the edge all that lovely purple? Can you see? Look, look at that. And watch as the light goes across. Now, if you are thinking about learning how to wire wrap cabochons, or you're thinking about, you might have um, got some of the CB DVDs. I know Mark did a DVD where you can um, bezel set with um, seed beads like. I know Patty McCourt did it at the weekend. She made me a beautiful piece. Um, I'm just showing you some of these examples. I've got so many examples of just the most perfect performing Labradorites. Look at that. A blaze, aren't they? So yeah, if you like working with seed beads, you like working with wire, if you want to start learning how to, and we do, we've got a, a wire cabochon wrapping um, workshop with uh, Laura Binding coming up um, on one of our workshops. So again, if you fancy learning and thinking, oh, well, such a good deal on these Labradorites, oops a daisy, I might as well learn how to actually wrap them. This, they're all amazing, Mike. Look at that. Oh, my word, there are 950 phenomenal carrots here of Labradorite. Um, I'm going to give you a count of how many I've got because every single one of them is extraordinary. Um, I'm just going to just work out how many shapes I've got as well. If I just take a few shapes off for you. Um, marquee shape even. I've got um, pear drops, ovals, um, squares, rectangles, marquees, rounds. Sorry, I was going to count as well. Can you just see that marquee? I've got a marquee shape Labradorite here. And every one of them is performing. In fact, let me have a count how many Labradorites we've got. Just out of interest, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So we're less than a pound of cabochon. 22, 24, there's 25 there. 25 there. Just, yes, I will, Mike, for you in a minute. I've only got so many hands, love. 25, how much was that each? 80 pence for Labradorites of this size. Labradorites of this calibre. Look at that. Can you believe that? 80 pence for cabochons like this. Amazing. Right. Isn't it brilliant, Absolutely Katie? amazing. I make a lot of Labradorite jewellery. You what, sorry? I make a lot of Labradorite jewellery and that they would go a long, long way. Okay, can I ask you a question? Yeah. If you made a piece of Labradorite jewellery with the, one of these, yeah. what kind of price? Well, let's just say a single pendant. A single pendant, very basic, yeah, very basic. wire wrapped, yep. probably around about 25 at the minimum. Minimum. Yeah. So can we just times 25 by 25? Because there are 25 cabochons, yeah. you're talking 25 pounds, just to give you an idea. Okay, so you paid 19.95 for the Labradorites. You've got however you set the pendant, but that'll be minimal cost, I would imagine. Yeah. You are talking about £625. So take away the 1995. Let's say we're down to 600 to keep it easy for maths. Whatever the cost it is to make your pendant, everything else is profit. Pure profit margin for yourselves. Not bad. Um, oh, we c'est moi. I love Frisia's two, my favourite. Please enjoy. Oh, Jane, it is you. Oh, how Jane. We'll have to see if we can dip and get him in the break and show these beautiful freezers. In fact, Emma, yeah. in one of the breaks, when you go and make a lovely drink, behind my desk, I've got the vase in a box with the freezers. Could you bring him in? Okay. Is that all right? We're gonna, thank you. We're going to show your freezers on air, Jane. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Je t'aime. Is that right? I love him. Or is that I love you? <laughs> Uh, Jana says, hi Katie and Zine, I took three hours yesterday to get home from, oh you one of these people that got stuck, took three hours yesterday to get home from Wakefield, but Monday and today I had, oh an MRI, and on Monday, on, on, oh my god, MRI on hand, and today minor surgery on a mole, oh well, mm. hope, uh, minor surgery at least, now we know it's minor. So we're not all too fretting yeah. too much, but I hope you feel better soon, lovely lady. I, you know, hope you feel better soon and everything's sorted now. 
You had a long journey here, didn't it, last time, didn't you? Yeah, it took me five hours last time. Five well, hours? Yeah, a few shows ago, it took me five hours to get here. <laughs> From Wakefield. <laughs> From Wakefield? It's yeah. Wakefield. Yeah. That's the trouble, it's Wakefield. <laughs> Did I miss a text then that you put on? Thank you for caring. Oh, of course we do. Of course we do. Oh, can I make a suggestion? The colour of the next treat is phenomenal. The price point is phenomenal. There aren't that many. The deal is awesome and it is perfect for your Valentine and it's your first Valentine's Star Buy. Oh my word, you know what? These are so fashionable. Because the thing is, Valentine's, I don't know about you, so Valentine's you either get perhaps a nice bouquet of flowers or a long stem single red rose or a bunch of roses, but as with weddings, as soon as it's a Valentine's, the price goes up. And the roses particularly don't last that long, do they? Roses, unfortunately. Um, how about you make a really, you know, a nice long sort of um, lariat style on a nice beautiful ribbon or leather cord or something. Nice fashionable thing that you can wear again and again. So rather than just having a, a, a one or two week Valentine's with flowers, you get something that you can wear from your Valentine all the time and constantly be reminded of that lovely gift. I think if you love Larimar, if you love sky blue opal and turquoise and some of those beautiful blues, You've got such a lovely mixture of lapis and sky blue opal tones in there, but a sapphire blues in there and Larimar blues in there. Isn't that lovely? It's, it's, it's like a world, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And do you know what I'm thinking? Excuse me, but do you think the same thing as me? Look at what, it's a crazy agate. So the, the terminology could be with the card, I'm crazy for you. Yeah. With a crazy agate. Thirty mil by twenty nine mil, isn't it lovely? Again, oh, actually, yeah, that. Can you imagine putting that with Chrysocolla? Yeah. Good idea, Phil. A Chrysocolla or a Neon Appetite or even a Larimar or a Sapphire. Oh, actually, I've got an idea. I have got an idea. Come here, look. Come here. Coming up tonight, I have at ten to nine. I have. A one metre length strand of iolite. A metre of iolite. Now you could go with a nice, because there's some of those beautiful iolite blues in the base of the, of the crazy agate there, aren't there? Do you like that idea? That's nice as well, isn't it? Yeah. That's coming up at 10 to 9, Mike. Now, would you do the obvious with this? Just a long style... 30, 36 inch, or uh, would you do something different? I probably would, but oh. then I'd want to play with it. Would you? I'd probably want to wrap some wire work around it. Would you? Yeah, sort of wrap it around from that top section, from that little loop on the top, yeah. and just kind of spiral a, a nice weave around it, and then just finish off with a little spiral just at the bottom, at the tip, just to finish well, it off. There's an idea, because actually, if you've got some wire, yeah, I, see, I, see, give me an idea now as well. Because that lovely size loop, these are going very quickly, by the, by the way, and we're, uh, we're only limited on these. Six ninety five is just ridiculous price, but I think you'll agree. But also, like you say, wrap a bit of wire around there and do another heart. You could actually make yeah. another heart on yeah. top of that. You could do some wire writing over, over yeah, the front of it. Yeah, I love you. Yeah. Or the initials, yeah. the name. Yeah. Oh, yeah, wire writing as well. What a lovely idea, Katie. As you can see, a lot of people coming on the telephones. People like Joyce having two, Lisa in Surrey having three, Denise in Kansas having th two. Brian and Angela having two, Collection Gloucestershire having three, Margaret's had three, Rachel's had two as well, Alexandra's come in and had three as well. I don't even need to ask you to check out. Brilliant price point, brilliant. I mean, what was the carrot weight? Oh, 80 carat solitaire, look. That is a really nice, uh, and do you know what, as well, I, you wouldn't get, you wouldn't get coloured glass, would you, in, a, in, a, in, in costume jewellery for that? No. This is a genuine 80 carat, genuine gemstone for 6.95. What did I pay for two coffees today? A small and a medium. 
six pounds thirty in a coffee shop. I'm only reiterating this. I don't want to keep knocking the coffee shop. I haven't said what brand they were, but it puts it into context what you can get for your money. It does, and that's going to last you forever, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. That coffee was gone in five minutes, and then I kept worrying about if I needed the loo, but, you know, when Hugh Jackman was on. Luckily, I managed to hold it. I was fine. My friend didn't. I said, see, should have had a small. You had a medium, and you had to go to the... She had to go to the toilet halfway through. She wouldn't need the loo. I said, see, should have had a small. Jenny says, it was a good evening. Beautiful pet. Katie, your hair is stunning. Oh, thank you. You do look lovely. Thank you. She says, Josie and I are waiting for Polly Clay demos. Well, it's the first time Katie's ever had Polly McClay. Hello, Josie. Hello, Jenny. Sandra says, hello, Katie and Zin. I don't know why I've said you just, you're not from up north, so I don't know why I've just made a northern. <laughs> hello. Um, I need Katie's beautiful top. Oh, I'm glad you've said that, because I said to her in the toilet, she changed. She went in the toilet, she didn't strip off. And I said to her, I said, oh, your top's <laughs> lovely, didn't I? Yeah, send, me, send me a message, I'll tell you where from. She said, can I come and get it so lush? Oh, is it quite new? Did you get it from somewhere like? It came this morning. I went on a bit of an online shopping spree last night. It is really <laughs> Thank nice. Thank you. She only bought it last night. I bought a pair of boots. They've sat in the bag. Since I didn't realise it's the 19th of December. I got them out and tried them on last night and it said 30 day return. I thought, better take them back. <laughs> yes, I did rush them back to the shop today. Hello, David. Hello, Zina. I'm getting back to normal. Sorting jump rings into colours. David's been in and out of hospital, haven't you, David? So, David, we've been messaging. I'm glad you're feeling better and you're back on the jewellery, David. Glad you're back. Glad you're back. How many of those left, sweetie? Darling face. There are less than... In fact, we're in double figures now. I think that'll sell out this evening. F uh, 6 dollars is fantastic, isn't it? Fantastic. Just show you the... Can I just show you the thickness? The girth. It's a chunky one. Look at that. I mean, look at, see, I mean, it, that's the side view you get. Isn't the profile just yeah. as lovely as the that's front? That's what I like to see, though, because you know it's going to have that weight, so you can put it on a lovely long chain. It's yeah. going to have that weight and it's going to have that swing really well. pendulum yeah. movement, isn't it? <laughs> really like that. It's got a lovely feel to it. I'd throw it at you, but I can't throw things in the studio. <laughs> it just wouldn't be right. I can pick! I'm going to pick, 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 pick. Oh, oh, there's too many lovely things. Don't do that to me. I'm going to get the, the, the silver pearls. You get all of them. Oh, well, I'm going to show them individually then. Because we're going to give you ivory, silver and black. Guess which colour we're starting with? That'll be the ivory. Uh, the pearls. Silver. Um, so we've got, um, and the good news is, Phil's done one of his fabulous bundles. Our producer, Phil, is very kind because he's giving you the black pearl. The silver pearl and the ivory. Three strands of pearls. And they're a lovely combination of three colours that could all go together really nicely. Yeah, they work beautifully. Yeah, together. really beautifully. Seven by six to seven by eight mil, all genuine beautiful pearls. We should be for those three strands. You can see the quality of them. I mean, you can. Act, that's what I love about jewelry making. Look at the pearls, and you don't need the presenter or the guest designer or anybody in the studio to tell you what good quality they are because you know what you can see for yourself your eyes are drinking those in aren't they they are beautiful the the, the color reflecting off them is absolutely yeah, gorgeous the, the colors the iridescence the shine the luster the shape the, the the matching whether it's the size the beautiful um silkiness of them the luster the color that everything about those has been matched to perfection Do you fancy a £20 note back in your back pocket? Do you, do you, do you want to dance or do you, do you, do you fancy three strands of pearls? What's that, £11.32 each? £11.32 each for strands like that, that's, that's incredible. That's amazing, the, the quality of those. And the fact that they're all the same. They're, exactly. You know, so you can work with them all together and not worry about having to sort, sort them yeah. out into and, sort of size grade them and things so because it saves a lot of time because when you're pricing your jewelry you've got to work your time into it haven't yeah. you 
You know, like when, when like an accountant or a solicitor or somebody or a gardener, they come round or a builder, they they price they price, they they charge you and sort of price the job by how long it's going to take them. And it's the same for a jewellery maker. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, it's the same. Eleven pounds thirty-two for pearls each strand, and each strand is thirty-eight centimeters. So the good news is there. You're talking. Is that over one point two meters? Oh, Jenny! Oh, Jenny in Dorset. I seen her. I found out today that I am going to be a nanny for the first time this year. So excited! Oh, she gets a oh, come on. That is brilliant. Oh, congratulations, Jenny! She's going to be a nanny. Don't worry, um, you know, it's a right field. Do you know what it just did to me, everybody? I'm in pain. Did you, just, did you know what Jesus just said? He went, there's another text on the screen, you can read it out. <laughs> oh. Hello, Phil, great to hear you're on. <laughs> I beg to differ, David. Keep the goodies coming, I'm taking March off so I can make jewellery. Oh, David, are you? He's taking the month off. Oh, oh David. I'm all right, Phil, honestly, don't worry about me, love. No, honestly, I'm fine, Phil. I can keep going, Phil, it's fine. Do you know what, everybody, as well? I bought in a great big, massive birthday cake that my lovely cousin Janie made me. You'd think they'd be grateful. Oh, look, that was, oh, it's really big. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's that. Oh, it's a bit rich. I was grateful. You were grateful, Lee, but you were the only one. Honestly. Imagine they all stuffed it down their neck. I have a Peruvian opal, natural Peruvian opal, huge, I don't think you're ever likely to see larger opals than this, do you? No, no, I love that shape, they're a great shape, so you work some wire work around them, yeah. They're very, um, very, I think that's a good point actually, they're very workable, they're yeah. very... You've got you know, angles there to secure yeah. wires onto, so it gives, it's going to give you some grip. Give, gives you lots design. of options, yeah. doesn't it? And the lovely thing I think about Peruvian open in these big chunky sizes is what, don't matter what colour, I tell you what, if you've got blue wire, red wire, antique, bronze, copper, silver, gold, rose gold, any colour wire you want to choose to put with those opals, they will take it, they yeah. will work with it yeah. and complement beautifully. I love these strands. It's a very palatable tone of colour. It is. It'd work beautifully. If anybody's got the new lilac wire, that would look gorgeous with it. Have I seen lilac wire? It's like a lilac satin. Lilac satin yeah. wire? Oh, it's, I've had it in a kit once and I've seen it, I've seen it in a single oh, reel. Have you? I don't, well, I think you, I don't, we don't think we've seen it, have you? Ooh. It's nice. We're all a bit jealous now, aren't we? It's very much like the pearl wire, but lilac. I don't think I've seen I bet somebody will message in a minute. You have Zena, yeah, shut <laughs> up. I don't recall. Right then, we are going to give you a phenomenal price point. Oh yeah. And I don't know about you, Katie Love. I love that sort of beautiful, um, sort of lovely bronzy, sort of pebble type colour in the middle because it gives you a focal point. Yeah, that looks great. Just, just doesn't it? it? Yeah, yeah. Just restrand with yeah. that lovely that, scent. and maybe with uh, some copper wire and keeping that I central. Think copper yeah, wire. copper. Keep yeah. that central different coloured stone in the centre. Yeah, in the sense, so yeah. Nice, isn't it? Even from there, look, you don't really need a close up if we're truthful, do we? Look at that. Oh, yeah. Now, my lovely, she's going to be my flower friend, Jane. She's my flower friend, the most beautiful flowers. We'll bring them in in a minute. We'll put them on telly. Mm. The flowers can be the star of the show. During my hour, not yours, Katie, because during your hour, you're the star of the show. <sighs> Isn't she? 
and a lovely new top and a new hairdo. Can't wait to do Polly McLean. She's never done Polly McLean. When you see Kate, uh, Katie George tonight, you're never going to know that she's never done Polly McLean. I'll tell you that right now. Brilliant. So, um, one, two, three, I'm in the massive, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So again, we're less than a pound a stone for a precious Peruvian natural opal. Ah, oh, Jamie. Hi, Zena. Still thawing out after waiting in the hail nearly an hour for our taxi. Hope this gets through. Been messaging in, but non read out. Oh, I think we're doing quite well on text messages tonight. An hour in the hail. Ouch. Ooh. Tina, hi both. Congrats, Jenny. I'm going to be a nanny too in May. My first two. Right, oh. Tina. <laughs> Congratulations. Nannies rule. Nannies. Nannies. Oh, nannies. Nannies are the best, I think. It was Nanny McPhee. <laughs> you just talked about an antivirus protection company. <laughs> <laughs> he said Nanny McAfee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless him. He, he can't, he's, he, anyway. Uh, right then, I'm going to now bring you, um, certainly in, in my opinion, I'd be putting those with the pink sapphires that we had earlier, which I'm going to have to show you, my loves, if you don't mind. Because those, look at that. Oh. Katie's just, my guess is I've just gone, oh. And it is a, oh. They're dreamy together. They aren't really they? are. Yeah. I love a, I've always said, contrast with either a sapphire or a garnet, a lovely rich garnet or ruby versus a, a kanza because of the pale lilac. Oh, can you imagine that new lilac? Oh, Why are you yeah. talking about? With those. Yeah, you need to see that. It's oh, beautiful. Life. We all want to see this lilac yeah. wire now. Oh, you got us all revved up, Katie, love. Um, usually, uh, certainly when I first started on jewellery maker, if I were to see a, a Kunzite strand like that, I was expecting and have seen previously prices of 89.95, 99.95, and the quality hasn't changed. The prices are bewilderingly off the scale, but in a positive for you as the buyer. For us as a business, obviously, we don't make anywhere near the kind of money that we should be making on Kunzite. Do you know what? I'm a customer of Jewelry Maker. Katie's a customer of Jewelry Maker. I'm going to say, do you know what? I'm happy being able to buy Kunzite like that, perfect, beautiful rounds for eight mil and get change out of a £20 note. That, for me, is pure and utter joy. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because it's not down to us as customers of Jewelry Maker, you know, to worry about Jewelry Maker, is it? It's like, what can I get it for? <laughs> it's an edit, it is, though, isn't it? It is. We want to know. £17.95. Now, can I just mention, if you get that perfect textbook colour tone of, of Kunzite, do your research on Kunzite Jewelry, these price points are so... It's almost, you know when you get that, when people say it's too good to be true? There are times when that rule does not apply, and it's generally when it comes to buying from Jewelry Maker. Those are the real deal, they are super rare, they are genuine, and that textbook colour has got no colour additives whatsoever. Vicky said, my dad was, oh gosh, my dad was diagnosed with cancer last week. Today they told him it's treatable. So I'm over the moon now to watch Zena and Katie uh, do clay. Oh my goodness me. It affects a lot of people, doesn't it? Oh, that dreaded C word. I think we've all been tainted. All of us, I think, have got family yeah. members and friends that have been tainted with that. But when it's treatable, that is the best news, it's isn't it? The most amazing news. Yeah, so I mean. happy for your dad, my love. So happy. That is brilliant news. Brilliant. Oh, Vicky. Oh, gosh, such a relief. Such a relief for you. To, that must have been so traumatic waiting to hear if it was treatable or not. So thank goodness. Thank goodness. Well done. Well done. That is it. In fact, how many of those we've got? Is there any chance I'm going to get one? Could you write the code down for me, love, then, please? Thank you. Um, I'll tell you what I do have for you, actually. I've got the most fantastic strand of... Oh, it's a super-duper strand as well. Right, I don't... <gasps> That's not my fault if it's not knotted. You just... That's not my fault. 
That wasn't my fault, was it? No. That wasn't my fault. Don't you all tell me off. Sorry. I do apologise, Emma. <laughs> um, well, so they all fell off then. They fell off the stranding. Oh my. I know it. It wasn't my fault, Em. There you go. There's now kunzite all over the floor. No, there is. And I do mean, I know, I, I know. when I said they came off the strand, they came off the strand. Sorry. So, um, well, you know, do you know what? You've got to take them off the strand to make the jewellery anyway, haven't you? Yeah. And the nugget, so it's not, it's not like they graduated. No. So, it, it, you know... <laughs> It, it's, it's not the end of the world in any way, shape or form, is it? But the only thing it does mean is that I can't show you the wall on screen. I tell you what, as an apology... Oh, let's take that off because it's uncomfortable, isn't it? As an apology for me deciding to throw... ...cumsite all over the floor... ...we're going to give you an... ...angle. No, hang on a second. I wouldn't mind. It's not even the same strand, Phil. Nobody noticed, did you? That's the right strand. No, they're not the same, darling. They're completely different. Sorry, everybody. I can't even bring you the right strand. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? Professional to the end. <laughs> this is the strand that you're getting, 494, uh, getting for 4 95 I do apologise. It's a 38 centimetre strand. They are extra long chips. Big, big, big carrot weight, so the bonus is in your favour, 360 carats. And I think those are the kind of strands that I make a lovely bracelet with, just in a stretch, if I'm going on holiday. Yeah, they look great. I love them Kumihi mode as well. Yeah, they do yeah, look, yeah, they look great, amazing. don't they, Kumihi mode? Yeah. Yeah, they do. Kumihi mode. Do you like Kumihi mode, then? I do, I do. I don't do it often, but if I do, I do it with chips and nuggets. Oh, OK. Yeah. So that's good to know, then, isn't it? Yeah. She doesn't do it very often, but when she does, this is the kind of strand and the other strand that she picks up, our lovely guest designer. And they, don't be scared thinking they're too big to make a bracelet. They're not. They look great as a bracelet. They do. She's got a little nose. She was ever so proud of myself today. Can I just tell you, I don't know why I've just suddenly thought of an escalator looking at Leah on camera, but I did. Sorry? I didn't get on the escalator today to go up the stairs. I went up the stairs. Quite proud of myself. Well, because I'm trying to do 10,000 steps a day, and I thought, well, if I get on the escalator, that's only going to count as one. Yeah, I am. He's asking me, he's asking me about his, my, new, my new training thing. Hi, Zina and Katie. Hello, Karen. Tonight's going to be a fab night. I'd like to see this coloured wire too. Whoops, those cuns I can really fly. <laughs> <laughs> I know, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, whether you're all there, everybody's coming into... Martin. Hello, Martin. Sir Martin. They say things come in there's... The, they say things come in threes, I think that's yeah. supposed to say. First knuckles, then beads, what's next? Oh, don't, Martin. Oh, oh that means there's going to be another one, doesn't there? No, there won't. Oh, there will. <laughs> we're, only an, we're not even an hour in yeah. yet, Katie. Yeah. Look, there'll be another one. <laughs> Thanks, Martin. You've tempted fate now, haven't you? 4 95 I mean, Really? What the... It's not my fault. I planted daffodil bulbs yesterday. Oh, you wait till I tell you how I planted them. I use a tape measure. I did, I used to take me, she did plant me daffodils <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> gonna laugh at me. I'll show you these first of all though. Now these are gonna go lovely with my top, because can you see there's a bit of orange behind, look. Woohoo, bit of orange there. So I might just have to just make something with carnelian, I think. Because the thing is, one voluptuous splash of orange there. Just imagine that's a talk necklace. Imagine they're all not there. And you could just have one of those with those lovely long head pins, make a lovely wrap loop, wrap loop bail, slide it straight onto one of our talk necklaces. Yeah. That'd be that Beautiful. simple, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Just a lovely splash of oh, carnelian. Look at it on there. That looks amazing, doesn't it's a, it? It is. It's not oh, bad, is wow. it? 
the strongest, strongest orange, isn't it? Look at that. I mean, can you imagine just a pair of white linen trousers on your holidays? Yeah? No, you wouldn't wear cream top with white linen trousers, love. No, Mike's bless him. Bright orange top, navy blue top, navy blue versus that orange, because you can see the navy blue on there, look, versus the orange. Looks nice, isn't it? Oh, the door's just slammed. Oh, wow! Gosh, that is brilliant! Those are beautiful. Um, I'll tell you what I'd think about possibly putting the... Uh, Katie's nodding yeah. vigorously at me, going black and orange. It's a great combo oh, nation, isn't it? Beat, all clustered together. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah that looks lovely. Those black spinel are wicked, aren't they? Ooh yeah, I do like this. But again, because you've got that orange, such a, such a splash of, of orange carnelian. I mean, carnelian, as we know, if you've ever seen a carnelian strand, can be a very pale orange. Very, very pale indeed. And I'll tell you what, every single one on there is knockout strength of, of, of saturation. Beautiful. They're fab, aren't they? Absolutely stunning. Ooh, I'll tell you what. Mm. I think now, I'd pop them with that eye light as well. Would you? Oh, would you? Yeah. That's a good call, actually. Our eye light that yeah. we've got going up at 10 to 9, the big one metre length look. Now, Heather's got a very good point. She said, did you wear your new wellies? Honestly, Heather, I didn't want to ruin them. <laughs> because it was cold, it was icy, it was wet, it was windy, it was snowing a bit, I was freezing. And I wore my old ones that were split at the back because I was doing a lot of on me hands and knees kneeling work and I thought they are going to get scuffed. So I didn't. I didn't, Heather. I love them too much. I'm going to wear... Do you know what? I might wear them in tomorrow and show them you. Shall I do that? Shall I wear my new little ankle wellies in tomorrow and show you? Yeah. yeah. They're the best thing ever. I'm going to bring them in. Yeah. In fact, right, can somebody, one of the crew, text me when I get home tonight, what's up me, Leah? You've got the job. What's up me, Leah? And say, remember your new wellies. Yeah. They're ice. I heard that. I'm going to show you. They're the best wellies, these wellies. I, I can involve you tomorrow because you're going to be on with us, Katie Love. Yeah. So you're not going to miss out. But she's very excited. Do you know what else is exciting? Star by. <laughs> We've got these back in stock. Brilliant news. Now, particularly if you like making charm bracelets, these are fabulous because they're so easy to connect into. You don't get one. You don't get two. You don't get three. You don't get four. You only get five. Five of these beautiful, perfect, attachable bracelets. So... If you want to add any of, our, any of the charms that we bring you, make your own little briolette wrap, add one of those with really little carnelians or, or black onyx or black spinel or any of our little charms. Super easy to add in because they're three by two mil oval links, fully finished bracelet with a lovely slimline lobster claw. They go up to 17 centimetres plus three centimetres. Have we got this, the ruler in here? Just down here. Have you got it there, darling? Could I borrow it, you lovely girl? Thank you. I should know. I'm guessing seven to nine, but I don't want to guess. I want to be correct to Mundo. It wasn't far off. So, 17 centimetres, that's 20. Is that right? It says 17 centimetres to three centimetres. That's 20, isn't it? I'm measuring a bit longer than that. Whatever happens, we're talking up to eight inch. I've got actually got eight and a half inch here. So it's got lots of, that's a very generous bracelet. Yeah, so eight and a half inch, if you had a very slender ankle, you could get an ankle out of that as well. Ankle charm, yeah. oh yeah. yeah. The, dunk, the little carnelian dropped off it with your linen trousers. Because when we go on holidays, we do start to go for like ankle bracelets yeah. and dare I say a little cheeky toe ring. 
Ooh, yeah, I love a toe ring on me holidays, my flip flops. What's a toe ring? Working out, Mike, what's a toe ring? I mean, really, what's a toe ring? Oh, I can't wait for flip flop weather. Oh, I love me flip flops. Yeah. Oh, flip flops and me Birkenstocks and mm. oh, yeah. So, uno, do, oh, I can't do any more than, I can only do uno, dos, tres. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq. Yeah, can't, can't do, do that, that one. Yeah. <laughs> do you fancy... £2.59 for sterling silver? Yeah, the price police want to be called. £2.59 for full even. And the thing is, because you've got these great loops, you might be like me and think, well, actually, I've only got a, slim, a slender wrist. I've only got six inches. You could take the extender three centimetres off and use that in something else. Yeah. Reduce that down. And actually, you could connect at any point in that loop and reduce that. Down. That's kind of one size fits all, actually. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Would you agree? Yeah, definitely. You're so cute. Isn't she really. cute? She's got a cute face. I'm not. I'm you really, are. I'm really not. You are. Oh, I so see. She's like, I'm really not. <laughs> I quite like that about her though. Pretends to look cute, but she's not really. She's naughty. Are you quite naughty? No. You're not naughty either. Are you sure? <laughs> she's. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be in. You gotta... I've got one minute. What until what? <laughs> till the break? Where's that? Th she's joking aside, where's that first hour That's gone? Flown, hasn't it? How does an hour? Go that quick. Do you feel like the older you get, the quicker the time goes? Yeah. I think that. Now, the good news is, Katie, our guest designer, has ne not that you'd know when you see her jewellery. She's never worked with Polly McLean before. You'd never know. And she's loved it. She's, it's so much fun. So if you're like Katie and never worked with it and thinking, well, we've got everything you need, and it's really cost-effective, the kits. Our kits are like... Well, I better not tell you because you might be shocked, but they're really not very much money at all. They go a long way. It, to me, it's like having plasticine, but grown up. And pr plasticine that makes the most beautiful jewellery and home decor projects as well. It's just gorgeous. So we've got all the um, Sculpey, Polly McClay, we've got the tools, we've got the slices, we've got everything you need. Um, brilliantly priced, great for holiday jewellery actually, Polly McClay, really, really good and great jewellery that you can make with the kids as well, it's fantastic. Please join us after the break and it's uh, Back to Basics with Polly McClay. Did you know that if you go to jewellerymaker.com and sign up to our mailing list, then you'll receive 10% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, themed shows, program guides, and Jewelry Maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. I'm here in Poland in Gdansk. Um, this is the Baltic Sea. It's windy, the sun's kind of out, um, and this is where incredible Baltic amber comes from. It's amazing to think that after storm activity, this incredible gemstone is literally churned up from the seabed and displaced on the, on the beach. I could, I could walk along the beach and pick pieces up. It's absolutely fascinating. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker.
Here at Jewelry Maker, we love seeing your jewelry creations, learning about your inspiration and reading your blogs. If you write your own craft or jewelry blog, then we'd love to hear from you. Simply tweet us at jewelry underscore maker UK with your blog link and we'll be in touch. Hello. We have just bought into the studio Jane, the lovely Jane from Malelua. Uh, my lovely friend Jane. Can I just say I brought them in because Jane, t I got greeted when I walked into the studio, into, into, into the production office today with a beautiful box of flowers in a vase with some lovely little box of chocolates with some truffles. And these freesias are the smell and the perfume that has just come into the studio is stunning. They're the best smelling flower, aren't they? They're my mum's favourite as well. Yeah. They were my mum's yeah. favourite. Yeah. Um, Jane, I can't thank you enough. Thank you so, so much. They are fabulous. Lovely. Thank you. Hello, Katie Love. Hello. How are you, Katie Love? All right. Very nice top. Thank you. Very nice top. Now, are we starting with the, um, with the star by first of all? And then we're going to go to uh, start talking about the old... What did I do with my... Oh, it's over there. I've left them over there. I'll grab them in a minute. I will borrow them. These are brand new. Ooh, we like things that are brand new, don't we? Yes. Because... And this whole, um... This whole polymer clay, it's a Katie's brand new, isn't it? It is. I did have a dabble a few years ago, but this is all quite this new. This is all... Awesome. Must yeah. be... Are you a bit... Do you get a bit nervous when you've got a demo? Yeah. Right, really okay, let's, really let's gloss over moment. that. Yeah. You'll be fab, <laughs> as you always are. We're going to give you silver-plated crimp bead covers. They're four mil. They're four mil. Never been on air before, these little cheeky uh, crimp bead covers. You get 100. Um, you're never going to get your breath at the price point. There's 9.7 grams of copper there. All plated in silver. All... For an incredible £2.95. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's going to be the naughtiest price treat we've got for you all evening. Bear in mind there are 100 of them. That's incredible, isn't it? So how does that make that each one? 3p, isn't it? Yeah, a little brain yeah. gear there. Yeah, <laughs> three, 3p. The reason I had to check, you know, when you, again, like this thing would be too good to be true. When you actually look at something like 3p like that, you think, well, that, I can't have done it. No, That's right, can't. can I? Yeah, but, but it is. Yeah, because yeah, we were saying turn them into spacers, use them as your traditional crimping yeah. covers if you want yeah. to. I'll be doing a demo tomorrow by using lots of those. Oh, will you? Yeah. Katie's on the show with us again tomorrow night. So you're going to be, so if somebody gets these now, yeah. you're going to teach everybody tomorrow night on the late show in a demo how to utilise them in a piece of jewellery. Yes. Yeah, we'll be using quite a few of them. Would 100 be sufficient for the, the demo that you're yeah, going to Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and you'd have lots, lots and lots of spare. Lots They're and lots and lots of essentials, though. They are, yeah, aren't they? Yeah. Can you believe? That's good timing. Then isn't anything you're going to do as a demo. That'd be brilliant. Um, and would you agree that if you wanted to turn those into spaces, you just use a little pair of crimping plies or a little pair of flat nose or yeah, chain nose? Yeah, and, and can just kind of don't squash them in one go. Just uh, use your chain nose and just nibble them round. Nibble them nibble round. Them. Yeah. Like a little gerbil. Yeah. Nibble them. <laughs> or a little hamster. Yes, a hamster or a gerbil, Mike. You've got a hamster. What's the name of your hamsters? Oh. What was the other one? Angel and Lullaby. Aww. Angel and Lullaby for little hamsters. £2.95 for a hundred. What do you think about that then? It's pretty impressive, isn't it? Do we agree? 
Everybody's like, yes. Actually, Zane, we can't text you in because we're too busy checking out. £2.95. And the lovely Katie will teach you how to use the mini-git demo tomorrow. Brilliant. Brilliant. It's good, isn't it? Right then. Everything you could possibly need, we've got. We've got the cutters, we've got the moulds, we've got the tools, we've got the, um, the bead core to put into the polymer clay beads, we've got the guest designer, we've got a back to basics, we've got the uh, polymer sculpey, we've got the findings, we've got the iced enamel. We literally do have everything you need. Yeah, absolutely yeah? everything. Yep. Yeah. You want to do the tools first, do you? All right. Which ones? <laughs> The roller, yes. Oh, you... Polymer clay machine. Now, if you like me and you watch MasterChef, you'll have seen these a lot lately. Because this is basically a pasta machine. It is. Yeah. It's 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 not like a pasta machine. It actually is a pasta machine, yeah. but it gets renamed a clay rolling machine. But when you've seen it on the telly. You've watched on the MasterChef when they do the... In fact, they had a guy on the other, the other week, um, Monica, did set the, 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 the... And he had to... And he rolled it, but instead of just rolling it in the big, long strips, he kept rolling it like that. Yeah, did you see him? Yeah, I've seen him. Oh, that. oh it's yeah. brilliant. But anyway, what... Thing is as well, note to self, my friend bought a, a, a pasta machine, cost her a fortune, and I said to her, come to Julie, make her and get the clay yeah, rolling machine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and she did. You've, once you've used it for clay, don't use it for food. Oh, yeah, but absolutely, yeah. If you're just buying it for pasta, yeah. yeah. So, you know, really, really good priced clay rolling machine. Now, they've got little settings on the end, haven't they? So you, you um, yeah. can attach it with the clamp to the desk yeah. to make it nice and stable. Yeah, yeah, attached here. Yep. Yeah. and then yeah. you've got numbers on the side, and the numbers dictate the thickness yeah, of the so, clay. So one is your thickest, and then it goes down to... I think I've got, what have I got on here, two, nine. Because yeah. you do need to mention this because not all machines are the same. Sometimes no. it's the other way around. Yeah, yeah. So on our machines, the one is the thickest, the nine is the thinnest. Yes. And you just pull pull that out to... Yep, you just pull it. It's like a little ratchet notch and you just pull it out and, and twist it out. And it clips into yeah. place, doesn't it? You just go up a size at a yeah. time to get the thickness that you desire. Now I've been... T Pardon? How much? Phil, say that again. Oh, my word. Now, there you go. In fact, <gasps> Phil, do me a favour. Look up pasta making machine, will you? That. I paid a lot more than that for mine. I know I did. We've all got one in the back of the cupboard, haven't we, as well? But the old... And mine's gone all rusty, my really old one. We've just found one online for... Sorry, darling. £46. £26. £35. You still got that stuck up, you madam. Twenty-two pounds. It. It was just a sticker off one of the items. I forgot it was there. Twenty-one ninety-nine. So we, so far, the cheapest we've found is twenty-one ninety-nine. So would we all agree that we are actually at half the price we should be with the clamp for the desk? And do you know what, um, what I, one of our guest designers previously told me? All the different colours you can get. What I, one of our guest designers said, use one for all the coloured clay and you keep one for the white. Yes, I did find that with because I've only yeah. got the one roller. Yeah. I did find that, so I've had to spend a lot of time cleaning Exactly. Yeah. So she did suggest, which is a great idea, I can't think of who it was, but yeah, have one for coloured clays and one for white clays. And at that price, buy one. It's, it's basically buy one, get one free, yeah. judging by the other prices. I'll say you buy one. You're getting one free, aren't you? You are. Yeah. So, um, yeah, but do your research. Don't trust us. Go online now and type in pasta making machine. No, but my attitude is I like, no, I just don't trust us per se. Do your own research I is always, my point. I always do a little bit of research. So do I. Especially if I'm shopping online, I always do a little bit of research. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I do trust people, but my attitude yeah. is, well, I just want to check. Nothing wrong with that, is there? Mm -hmm. uh, Laura. Tell Laura I love her. Oh, I care. I do not sound like Kermit. <laughs> My sister works in a cook shop. The cheapest pasta machine they have is £30. She thinks this deal is crazy. Well, there you go. I think £30 is about the average yeah, I've I, seen that, in the shops. Yeah, the I think that's about right. Yeah. So it's almost a third of the price we should be. 
And there's a lady that works in a cook shop. Got get two, one for light colours and one for darks. Uh, because you're likely to get streaks. Well, yeah. there you go. That's what we just said, Vicky. Yeah, she's quite right. Yeah. Don't want streaky clay. Yeah, I could do with another mm. one myself, actually. Well, I'll tell you yeah. what, 10 it's a no-brainer, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. No-brainer. And the weight of it for the postage that we charge. She yeah. She's just made a very good point. Now, that ain't going to go through most people's letterbox, is it? So you're going to get a chat with your postie. Result. I love having a chat mm -hmm. with me postie. Um, and... Now, bear in mind, let's say we send you a strand of gemstones, £2.95, post and packaging all day long, that's it, you pay it once. Now, I can understand £2.95 and something light. Yeah. But we don't charge you any extra for that. Now, my dad sort of sent some candles back to a shop the other day. £16.80 to return them. £16.80 yeah. just to post them back. No. I bought some makeup last night online in my little shopping spree. You had a right shopping spree, you, last night, didn't yeah. you? And then I thought, oh, there was like this little like sale bargain. I thought, oh, I'll add that as well. And they put another £2.95 postage on. So I took it out of my basket. Oh, good for you. Yeah. I'm not paying I'm that. like that. I'm like yeah. not paying again. No. Same company. Yeah, same was company. Like, yeah, it would have come you. in the same package. It's naughty. Yeah. It's not, but we get spoilt with your maker. Yeah. So, two, 10 95 And to be honest, like in MasterChef, I know I keep talking about MasterChef, but I've just caught up on all 21 episodes. Um, when, when you, that you can roll it yourself, and we've got that for you, because you can, some people prefer to roll yeah. it themselves, some people prefer the machine. You can do what you like here at your maker, because we've got both. This, is oh she's got one there. I've got one here. This can I borrow yours? You may. Thank you. Now it makes me think of Superman. It does. When he throws that. the kryptonite yeah. Yeah. and his little palace grows and he goes to speak to his mum and dad. Do you remember with the lovely Christopher Reeves? But this is actually an acrylic roller. So the idea being is this acrylic roller will and I, again another tip with with uh, polymer clay. You can use actually playing cards to get the thickness. Yes. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Um, Tracy Spurgeon does when she, yeah. she's doing her thing. Like Tracy yeah. does. Yeah. She puts, bit, uh, you know, like, it doesn't matter whether it's the Queen of Arts or the Joker or whatever, but she puts three cards thicker than she meant to maintain the consistency. Yeah. So again, you can use these. Do you get two? No, you get, it comes with like a little sleeve, but you can use that one as a roller as well because it is still, <gasps> it's still acrylic. It's, yeah. So it comes with a little yeah. protector. Just a little word of warning when you pick it up, always put your hand on one end because I always pick it up and it drops. And it goes like that. Yeah. Yeah. So, good tip, put your hand on the end, or which, and just, yeah. otherwise it just goes whoop, comes yeah. straight up. Mm -hmm. And again, 3 That's, I mean, to be honest, I'd have, I'd have both. Yeah, yeah. Because sometimes when you've done it, you do want to do a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. So, and it, if you've got the, these two, because I know that that's just the sleeve for it, and you are using white clay and a darker coloured clay, you can use, use the both mm. to... Uh, to and you can that. pretend it's a lightsaber. Yes, you can. Wow, 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 wow. I'm having a play. Stop moaning, you two. That that we like a light thing. <laughs> so yep, acrylic roller set as well. Could you use that for bake? Could you use that for like? Yeah, as long as you can use it for baking, as long you as, could, you, as long as you don't mix. Don't the mix two, them up. Yeah? Use one or yeah. the other. I like that. No problem at all. Because I'm not. <laughs> Excuse me, everybody. Can I just? If you two don't stop giving me a hard time, I'm going to go to HR. Do you know, mind you, last week when they were playing me up, I actually spoke to our HR person and I said, can I come and complain? And he went, can you do it next week? I'm going home. <laughs> I did. Can you do it next week as I'm going home? <laughs> I didn't. I've never gone to HR in my life. Because I just think if you can't sort it out yourself, there's a bit of a problem, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, true. You know. Although I am struggling with these two. Not, not you, them no. two, in there. Oh, your hands are cold. Are you warm enough? No, I'm fine. My hands are always cold. I'm warm Aww. enough, don't worry. No, not freezing. You're all right. Yeah, no, yeah, fine. OK. Now, when you're doing polymer clay, you can, you can texture, can't you? You can. Did you do any texturing? I did. Well, I did. I used one of the blades to do some texturing on, on one of the pieces. Does that mean we I didn't just, give you the texture blocks? I didn't oh, get those. Katie, love. I was tempted to use others, but I thought, no, I'll stick to the kit that I've got. Because you can use, like, wallpaper, little bits of wallpaper yeah. texturing. You can yeah. use proper texturing um, blocks. These actually are for that reason. They are they to are texture brilliant. your polymer clay. Aren't they lovely? They're brilliant. <laughs> they are good, aren't they? So these are your uh, polymer clay, and they're designed specifically to roll and, and press onto your polymer clay to get all the lovely texture designs. I think they're fab. 
And they're really easy to use. They're really mould, really... Yeah, um, they're really deep yeah. textures as well. So you're going to get really deep. If you pop that onto your clay and then use your roller over the top of it, you're going to get really deep. going to get that imprint. really deep indentation, yeah. aren't you? Because as you say, if yeah. you want a texture, you, want it, you don't want it to be wishy-washy. Yeah. I mean, I do marvel at that. Now, that means that we're making each one of those for less than... For, well, for way less than a pound and packaging for two ninety. Yeah. I think that is such fabulous um, uh, money, value for money. And once you've washed it, they're just reusable and reusable and reusable. Two pound ninety five. I just honestly don't. I genuinely don't know how we do that. I really don't know. So so no, far, yeah. if you think about it, we've had the polymer clay uh, machine, which is on average thirty forty pounds everywhere else. We've done it for ten ninety five. We've had the roller for two ninety three ninety five. We've got the texture blocks for two pounds ninety five. The polymer clay kits are really cost effective. We've got the tools. We've got extra cutters as well. We've got the baking tray because again, you want a specific baking tray. So we just said what? Sorry. Um, so uh, uh, the roller we've just found in Argos at twenty one pounds. Great. Thank you for doing your own research because I think it's important. It is. It is. I think so. Ten ninety five we're still at for the same, you know, for a, it may not be identical, but it, a polymer clay is a pasta machine, and a pasta machine is a polymer clay yeah, rolling exactly machine. Same thing. Ten ninety five, you know, and the price we're at, you could buy one for your pasta and buy one for your jewelry making. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Two ninety five for the texture box. I'm sorry we didn't give you these. No, it's okay. I, don't, I think I did all right without. You've done them. brilliantly. Yeah. Honestly, when you see Katie's jewelry, you'll never know she hasn't done it before. So, now, you do need to bake your, your, your clay, don't yes. you? So, if I take this out, because you can get the gift box as well, if you want to give it as a present. Come on. Come on. Yep, all yep. gone. Just checking. So, get your little pins for sticking across the top to, to hang your, your, yeah. your baking on. If, if that's going to stop it. Are you going to stand up or not? There you go. No. Oh, you little monkey. No. So, I'll show it there. So this is your bead baking rack. So basically, when you've, produ when you've created your clay jewellery and you want to thread your modelling beads, let's say you've done a nice polymer clay bead, you thread it onto the needles that we've got here. So there's your needles in there. And you and basically it avoids any pressure marks during your baking. So obviously if you laid it on a standard baking tray, you get pressure marks indentations yeah. on the, on the bead. Yeah. If you thread that through your polymer clay bead and rest it on any of these notches here, you're suspending it and it's not going to mark. Yeah, yeah, it's, and it's going to bake evenly all the way around. It, yeah. oh, another good point. Yes. Hi. Um, and basically, can you see there's little grooves, little notches there, like little grooves all the way along. See, all the way along there for you to hang. Uh, the, the baking tray is stainless steel, um, and then you've got your pack of beading needles, you've got an acrylic sheet as well, but you don't put that in the oven. No, don't. What do you do with that then? Uh, you mean you can use it as a little, little workspace to, to work on to. Okay. But I actually used it to make those lentil shaped beads. Oh, did you? So, like, made, made a little ball and, and used it and used the actual sheet to make, make a bead. Uh, so, if I get a chance, I might show you. Okay, yeah. Thing. Oh, they're lovely. Oh, they've part of the place. Great fun. It is. I, I just really embraced it and had lots and lots of fun with it. Great. So. Great. I mean, look at look at that. I love polymer clay jewelry. I think it's great for the summer, particularly. Yes, yes. it's really lightweight as yeah. well. Really easy to wear. Yeah, just brilliant. So we're going to give you. Oh, that's my favourite. Yeah. So that's one of those beads that I made with this. The oh, acrylic, with the acrylic yeah, sheet. Yeah. yeah. Just so you by... can make a bicone, or you can squash it down a little and make ah. a, a lentil bead. So, but don't don't be putting your acrylic sheets don't, in yeah, the oven, though. That's not for the oven. That's not for going in the oven. So don't. Let's make sure we don't do that. But you get the polymer clay baking tray, the bead baking tray. You do a yeah, baking tray rather. You get the um, that stainless steel. You get the acrylic sheet, and you get the pack of the beading needles as well, which is there. Okay. So you get all of those. That's not just for your beads. You can actually lay things on, on the base of the tray as well. Well, yeah, but that yeah, exactly. Yeah. You don't, yeah, you're quite right. You don't have to yeah, put those an in angle, there. Angle yeah, angle there if you want wanting to angle anything and, and lift, raise anything up. So, yeah. so it's a really clever tray, actually, isn't yeah. it? Because I wouldn't want to mix my trays. Yeah, I've I'd... got I've got two of those trays. As I, I bought them ages ago. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're brilliant. Yeah. So there you go. You've got that as well. Um, right, we have also got for you here all of that. Yeah, the big bundle. You get all of that. 
Now, you know those um, those beads that you've just seen that um, Katie's made? You need the little eyelets. You need these little um, accessories here. Now, these are... What, can we just script? Sorry, I need to turn it around just to make sure what we've called them. Yet yeah, they are classed as your bead cord. Sometimes they're known as a rivet, but a bead yeah. cord. So these basically are the core that enables yeah. you to thread yeah. your so beads. On those beads, there's one at each side. You just push, push them together and then just push the clay out. That's, that's and you can bake those with those in? Yeah, yeah everything's baked. And then it, it's just adhered to it. There's no glue involved at, at all. I've just popped, popped one of those or two of those yeah. onto a, a round of clay Great. and baked it just popped it on the pins and baked and you've done that as well with the pendant so not just yes. for beads so the pendant where you put it with a heart yeah rather than just popping a hole through I exactly it'd, it'd look nicer just uh with that well, it gives a more professional finish, finish yeah. doesn't it? And it's going to mean it's going to move nicer on the yes. jewellery, actually yes. on the wire or the chain. And the wear on the jewellery as well. It's yeah, give, give good the, point. The yeah. Wear. Now, you get 50 in there, all right? You also get these lovely cutters, and there's all sorts of um, designs. And of course, as you can see, Katie's made those lovely hearts. But there's stars, there's um, beautiful pear drops, there's a little flower in there as well, all different sizes and rounds. So as you can see, there are lots of hearts and those lovely sort of pear drops and then the rounds and then the stars and then the flowers. You get all of the cutter set as well. And you also get, so I haven't finished, the Sculpey Tool set here, which is perfect for, again, adding your markings, adding your indentations, yes. adding your detail. Yeah. yeah, adding lots and lots of detail. And that's exactly what, and you even get a little stance. Yeah, it makes you give us a professional. Um, Katie's got it out here so you can see, look. And those are, I love the fact that it comes in its own little stand yeah. for all those little tools. That is brilliant. I love it. Um, and again, here we now have the uh, blade pack. Now, this is one of the most essential things, would you agree? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. And, and they are very sharp. They're purposely made, made for the, this medium. They're fantastic. Yeah. And if I can just show you one made up. There it is, look, you put the handles onto the different blades, you've got crinkle blades, um, but as Katie said, yeah. Katie said, they're very sharp, but they are designed specifically for your polymer clay, and they are brilliant, and this will make working with polymer clay so similar. So, so if you look, we're going to get to the actual polymer clay in a minute, but so far we've given you the texture tools, the, the um, uh, clay rolling machine, and the acrylic roller, and the cutters, and the texture blocks, and the baking tray, and we're still... Not talking about big, big, big money making. No, you know, no. not a lot of money here. No, you can you can start a hole or the medium for very, very little yeah. money. And the clay goes so far. Oh, as the well. clay. Yeah. Well, yeah, the clay just goes on and on. Yeah. And once you've invested in these and treated yourself to these tools, you're done. The only thing you yeah. need to replenish then really is your core eyelets. Yeah, and your, yeah. And but your I mean, clay. I've used quite quite a lot, and I've still got loads left. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so you don't, you know, it's once you've bought the essentials, which aren't very cost, which aren't very expensive, then oh, I like that. Is that with the iced enamel on? Yeah, yeah, they're great. So I think as well, once you start, like Katie, with polymer clay, you will become addicted. Would, is that fair to say? Yes. Yes. Yes, I'm thinking half term is coming up. Oh, um, it is, because isn't it? it's it's, it's yeah. a great one for kids as well. Yeah. It's uh, non toxic and everything. So Brilliant. Got, apart from the blades, obviously, I won't let my yeah, boy touch those. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to have loads of fun over half term. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Half term. Yeah, coming up in, um, well, I need, what, three three weeks or so? Yeah, about three weeks, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, right, so you've got all the essentials. We'll just do the kit and then we'll get onto the demo, if that's okay, with our lovely Katie. So if we do this one for you first. Again, everything you need and everything that we sent to Katie that you can see this lovely jewellery here. We have got a findings kit. We've got the Primo Sculpey. And we've got um, the silver plated findings kit as well. Now, you've got here three Primo um, Sculpeys. You've got the white. You've got the pomegranate. And you've got the blush. Okay, so three lovely colours. Each one is 57 grams. And as Katie said, they go a long way. Then you've got, oh, my personal favourite, the ice enamel. And that's your glitter. And that's what Katie's been having, clearly having a lovely time with. And it's, um, it's this, it's basically, it's that, well, it is glitter for polymer yeah, clay. Yeah, I've not used it before, but it's, it's quite exciting to use. I can't, I kind of might be taking this one home with I me. I don't and, blame um, you. It's having a more play with it. Ice. Yeah. It really is. You get that as well. And you get the findings kit. So the findings kit, you get the lovely chain. It's a 21-piece findings kit. You get two toggle clasps. You get two pairs of shepherd hooks. You get the four head pins. You get the jump rings. You get the crimps. And you get... I'm just going to check how long that chain is. I'm guessing it's half a metre. Yeah, half a metre of silver-plated overlink chain as well to finish off the jewellery. Yeah. 
So 21 piece findings kit in silver plating, three Primo Scorpi clays and the glitter, all those findings as well, put those down there, and your three colours, your pomegranate, your blush and your white. Four See, that's my point. Four I had to check that price earlier. <laughs> I didn't realise that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. Uh, you know, I mean, you, you don't have to buy all the tools straight off. You could just start with the acrylic roller and not have the clay machine. With the clay machine at ten ninety five, I would yeah, grab it I while you can. Miss it at that price no, I wouldn't miss all. it to be honest. But um, you've got everything you need um, to treat yourself to polymer clay, and you're going to fall in love with it. And there's so many. We've got the demo today with Katie, but there's so many demos online for polymer clay and tutorials. And we, have, you know, we even have workshops on polymer clay. We've got our own uh, uh, DVDs on polymer clay as well, so you can't go wrong. And it is wonderful. You can even mix these Sculpey clays as well to create your own. Yeah, yeah, to create your own colour. Your, your own colour. I did that with, on the um, one of the oval, the one with the corrugated texture on it. That's yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that sort of graduated from yeah. light, light to dark. And that's by mixing the clays. Yeah, that's just that's yeah. just by mixing the clays. It's brilliant. So I tell you what, then. Now, as I said, Katie has never done polymer clay. She's bought it a few years ago on a little double, but she's never actually worked with it. So you were quite nervous, weren't you? Yes, yes, very nervous. So, yeah. But I just decided to throw myself in there and And you and loved it, didn't you? Yeah. So I've, con I've conditioned some clay already, so hopefully that's, that's still nice and conditioned. But I'm just going to show you how, just basically, how you'll start. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go back to basics, everybody. Okay. So this, I'm still using my original clay that I made all this jewellery from. Okay. And I've still got half a block of each one left. Yep, and I did waste a lot just playing around with yeah. it and just having okay. some fun as well. So what you'll find is you, your clay will come in a block, yep. like so. And you just need to cut. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut about a quarter of a block, or about a third of a block. So just popping your blade on and then just taking it down. And you'll find it will chop up really nice. And then what you need to do is wrap your clay back up. And you need to keep it in something that's uh, airtight and the right type of plastic as well, I will say that. Yeah. Yeah, so it's plastic containers that have the number five on five the Five in the middle, yeah. yeah the in five, the yeah. Yeah, because I think it, it deteriorates other types of plastic. Yeah, so, quite right. Yeah, so keep it in something like that, airtight, and it's fine. I mean, I've not wrapped it up particularly well, but it will be fine. As long as they're not touching each other, it'll be fine. Okay, so... To start with, we're going to use our acrylic roller, okay. because obviously we, it's this thick, we can't put it straight into our pasta okay. machine like this. So we're going to give this a little roll. This feels weird because I was sort of stood up at home <laughs> doing it. You can stand up if you want to, it's not a problem. No, I'd probably be short to stood up. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so just working it just so that you get it a little bit thin, and what we're doing is conditioning the clay. So once we get it to a decent thickness, so it'll mm -hmm. go into our pasta roller. Um, just move that out of the way and we're going to pop it into our pasta roller okay great okay so we're going to start on the the biggest setting which is number one okay okay so that's the thickest setting and we're going to pop it straight in and roll it through and just get ready to catch it underneath okay okay and then what you can do is you can either tear it and pop it together and then pop it through again so you're gonna have to do this repeated times or what I tend to do is fold oh. it and then pop it fold down and that way you're not trapping any air inside of it so when it goes oh, through the rollers that's a good point. Yeah, you're not trapping any air yeah you're not sandwiching okay. any air in so there fold it and then what I'd normally do is turn it so that I know we're doing a slightly different direction each time and you're going to continue to do this and is this what you're calling when you say you're conditioning, conditioning the clay? yeah okay. because at the moment you'll find it's kind of got these frayed edges and it's a bit bitty and what you need to it, you need it to be quite flexible quite you can feel it yeah, change yeah, actually yeah, can't yeah. you yeah you'll yeah. see you'll see and it could become slightly glossier as well yep okay so i'll just take this through a few more times and the other thing that you can do to test that it's conditioned yeah is to um bend it and hopefully it won't crack yep yeah so so that's just about getting there. I can feel it just needs that a little bit more. So I'll just take it through a little bit more. Okay, so it's, it's starting to feel that it's a bit hard to, sorry, my, so I don't it doesn't quite fit on there. Okay. Properly. Okay, so 
it's starting to it's got that more glossy look you can to see it, it you can, yeah yeah you can see yeah. it there and it, it's starting to feel feel a bit more conditioned okay okay so the pen the little piece that i'm making is the i call it my little biscuit key ring oh yeah yeah the little kind of multiple hearts yeah okay yeah so, lovely but what i've done with the clay that i've conditioned is i've actually put the glitter into it oh great okay okay so just really quickly hopefully without getting glitter everywhere Okay, so what I did to pop the glitter into it, which I will show you in a few minutes, is I just half conditioned my clay and then just sprinkled just a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect. Yep. Yeah. Oh gosh, I love that tub. I know. I love that tub. At least it's not one of those that you open and it goes. Poof. Yeah. 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 And then I folded it in half. Mhm. Mm okay. And started continuing with my conditioning. So I'm working that glitter into the clay and what you need to do is quite it takes quite a while for yeah. it to get to get into it but keep go, keep going and you'll find you'll start to see the glitter coming through oh brilliant okay. so give me a second just to get these so this is just normal food grade cling film okay so i've got these in oh. so so the white one has glitter in it oh. i've just conditioned that on the brain and the pink one also has I think it's that's it that's it that's it yeah. yeah great thank you right so uh, now we've got them conditioned and I don't know whether you can actually see the glitter in there but what happens is I found with the glitter I did it with the red heart the glitter kind of came out as it baked oh really yes, did yes, it? it kind of disappeared in, into the clay but then as it baked it came out and wow. gave it that really beautiful yeah. sparkle and the other ones that I glittered I just literally dipped them in yeah they kind of came, became like molten oh, silver over the top of it, so they look dipped. So the, the earrings that are kind of half dipped. Yeah, they do look yeah. lovely, don't they? Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I've got my, my clay ready and I'm just going to cut the largest heart out, like so. And then the next size is a white one. And the next size is another pink and the next size is another white yeah okay and what you need to do fingers crossed this works it'll work it'll work is use your actual blade to get it off don't try and pull it okay so using your blade let's just get rid of some of that clay out of the way okay so use your blade to maybe it won't <laughs> It will. It You're doing there, there you go. Good. So you're just going to get the okay. angle. Yep. So that one's left there. Because if you just try and pull it, you'll distort your yeah, heart Absolutely. Shape. Yeah. yeah. You're doing yeah. brilliant. Isn't she doing brilliant? First ever demo. Brilliant. You're doing fab. <laughs> you're doing fabulously. Feels well, like you. day one again. No, oh, you're doing brilliant, darling. Because right. we all have to start somewhere, yeah. don't we? Yeah. So it's a bit warmer in here than it was at home. Yeah, the exactly. Studio yeah, that lights. doesn't help. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So. So we've got our hearts all together there. So then it's just a case of building it up. Yep. So we've got that in the middle there. So popping on our next heart. So this is why it helps to have all the cutters in different sizes, doesn't yeah. it? Makes yeah. the job so she easy. Actually, was just playing. I felt yeah. like I was a bit cheating at work. To be quite honest, yeah, she was just playing. Yeah, thinking, just oh, like, I should be having this much fun. Yeah, I was like, this is just like playing with my little boy with his play-doh. Yeah. We don't bake the play-doh. <laughs> Okay, so so I've just stacked those up. Great, yeah. Okay, and then I got my little uh, sculpting tool. Yep. So I quite like the and the the, the magnet. Yeah, it just like slot, little, it sucks in, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah so they're yeah. they're fun to play with, and just on each of these rounds around the edges, all I did was just make a little indentation. Oh, lovely. I don't know why I call it a biscuit. It no, but like, I know what you mean. It looks like a little yeah, cute yeah. cookie. Yeah. 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 So, and just worked all the way around, yeah. just popping these little indentations in there. So, just working your way around each side. Yep. So, we'll just go around this side for now. Okay. On this one, I didn't use some of the bead cores, but I think I'm going to try and add one in, in the middle there and see what, what happens. 
and just popping that little bit of texture all the way around just to and you could use any of the, any of these just to either cut out or, or make some texture in okay so just add a little bit more on that side mm -hmm. it's a bit awkward trying not to cover it sorry looks so lovely just by doing those little that's what i mean yeah. when you start working with those little tools you, you yeah. really do enjoy it don't you yeah i mean i've seen i've watched other people do it and they've done like beautiful like sculpting in there and you know, making faces mm. and also you can if you, there's lots and lots of pages on yeah on facebook and we've got lots so of much pictures, help, on, pictures yeah. on our facebook page of lots of beautiful polymer clay and different techniques i love it i think it's fabulous Paul. yeah i'm definitely gonna make a promise to myself to get all my clay out and yeah use it Okay, so Lovely. okay, so again, just because it has quite stuck down a little bit, just to shimmy that, just to loosen it a little bit. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to get some of the little. A quick message from Lorraine. It is like making cake decorations, but using yeah. polymer clay. It is Lorraine. It's a good way to put it, actually. Yeah. Jilly Susie as well as just said, Katie, you're doing fantastic. Definitely making me want to have a go. Oh, please we, have a go. Have a go. It's so A kit we've fun. had for months. Oh, you're going to yeah. give it a go. Yeah, I, I took my little boy to school. I come home and said, like, right, let's just have let's a have, play. Yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's nearly three o'clock. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. The day are gone. I just absolutely oh. enjoyed to bake it when I got home. Paula just said, hello, you lovely ladies. Great show as always and keep the smiles coming. Question, why can't men wear pearls? Why can't they? They can wear black pearls. You can wear any pearls. Black pearls yeah. if you like, Paul, in Coventry. Okay, so you Men need to wear consider pearls, the what? thickness that we've got here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I, I didn't use it use one because because of the thickness of that one, but I'm just going to pop it in there. See, that's yeah. gone all the way through there. Yeah, and I'm just going to use my tool just to squish it down. And then all I would do is remove this. That way. I did make the mistake and, and slice a little bit of my finger off the other oh, way. So really don't do, do be careful. Yeah, they are yeah. very sharp. Yep. Yeah. And then use one of your tools to just cut out. This is very, very sharp. They're all very sharp. You do yeah. need to be careful. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Use one of your tools just to work out that little bit of clay in between. getting very warm in the studio it's getting really yeah it sticky. is warm in the studio <laughs> yeah. to be fair yeah so that's cut it out okay and then all you do and it looks really loose there but just pop that back in yeah because it's going to bake and yep. seal it isn't yep. it yeah it bakes and it, it sticks to it and it's it's no problem whatsoever and my other little tip was because i remember from the little bit that i did a couple of years ago when you bake straight onto the bottom of the, the baking, baking tray, tray it gives you like a, sh a shiny Underside, a shiny, shiny bottom. bottom. Yeah, you can did, say yeah, bottom. It's yeah, fine. A shiny bottom. So what I did was it was a, a tip that I got off um, our polymer clay DVD, and I sprinkled salt in the bottom of it, and it gave a little bit oh, more of a matte effect. Okay, to the back. Good, great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So so baking it on a bed of salt, and also what I did was once I'd, I'd got my baking tray, and I put that into kind of like a roasting tray, something okay. that's got a bit of depth yeah, to yeah. it. So I popped that in there, and I covered it with foil. And sealed it around the edges, and then made like a little, little mini oven for it inside the oven. And the baking instructions are exactly as it says on the back of the yep. packet. I've put my packets away. Yeah. Well, it says here maximum 130 degrees for 15 to 30 minutes. Now, I, I did a bit of research actually earlier, and it says Sculpey is better. It says here, and it's exact. It says exactly what it says there. But max 130 degrees for 15 to 30 minutes. But it says. Um, but it depends on the size and it depends on the thickness that you're baking. And it also says, now this is note to self, especially yeah. because we're working with this. Red and yellow, because uh, polymer clay comes in, I think it's let me just check, 48 colours and 24 in the, um, in the accent range. But it says if you're baking red or yellow, because I did a bit of research for you, so it may darken too fast at this temperature. So use a cooler oven, but for a little bit longer. 
Right. So there you go. So if yeah, you are they, using red or yellow, red a bit cooler, a bit, darker, bit longer. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. You see, little tip I learnt yeah. earlier so as well. I baked I everything that. all together in one one go, and I baked it for twenty five minutes. But I'll just give it a go. Not quite the full time, but and it, and it, it worked. It looks, do have to remember to like cool down because it is still yeah. soft when it comes out of the oven. But it looks fabulous. Thank you. And I tell you what, like I said to you, I'll, we're right, aren't we? You can't tell she hasn't done it before. Absolute respect you. to you, young lady. You. Well done, you. That is your first polymer clay demo done and dusted. Brilliant. Well done, you. And she done well. Well done, darling. So do get involved. You'll absolutely love it. There'll be no turning back. But in the meantime, we're going to give you a star by. Because we thought, well, you might fancy a few more colours, we're going to give you a brilliant deal on your Primo clay. This is your Primo Sculpey clay that we've got here for you. As we said, it comes in a range of 48 colours, including 24 in the um, accents range. It's a really premier uh, polymer clay. It's soft enough to blend, but it's firm enough to hold really fine detail as well. It um, does still retain its flexibility after baking. Um, it's, it's really strong, it's really durable. Um, it's ideal for jewellery, it's ideal for modelling, it's ideal for home projects, home decor. Uh, and again, you can combine them to customise the colours like you do when you tint and different colours of your paint for the home. And that's what we've got. So in this um, set, each one is the 57 degrees, and at 57 degrees, 57 grams even in the pack, and they go a long way. Your colour range there are the wonderful cadmium yellow, the black, the raw sienna, the turquoise, the wisteria, and my personal favourite, the wasabi, which I think is ace. Do I like wasabi? It's quite hot, isn't it, wasabi? It is. Mm. Nice and small. Yeah, it's a little bit. So, 57 grams each. Um, uh, this is all your uh, polymer clay in those six different colours for you. Um, you're going to be amazed at this. Are you ready? Wow. All six. Uh, £1.66 they should be. I'm, I'd, I'd like to just point out. £1.66. Now, we've just had a polymer clay tutor come in for those. I'm not surprised, Zoe. Hi, Katie. Lovely to see polymer clay back on the screens. Great demo. Oh, well done. Thank you, Zoe. Thank you. Hello, Zoe. Polymer clay tutor. Ah, Zoe. Yeah. Oh, hello, Zoe. Um, Tani just said, I'm struggling with my eyes tonight. I can't see the messages very well. Ha ha! Don't know, don't do what I did and forget it was in the oven, so I ended up with a crispy owl. Oh, no, set oh, a timer. Oh, set your timer. And I think people that do it quite often have, usually have an oven thermometer as well. Oh. Yes, to check the temperature. Oh. I have not got one of them. No, I've got one of them. Donna just said, hi all. Fab to see polymer clay back on JM. At last, a piece of... Printer paper in the baking tray stops the shiny spots on clay Brilliant. pieces. Love Oh, well, that's a good I idea. Use that one as well. Yeah, save your salt. Yes, yeah, save your salt. printer paper. Great idea. Susan just said hi, girls and crew. Hello. Uh, the the back and the black. black I think it yeah. means the black and the yellow when mixed makes a lovely green. Mm. Well, it's a good way to learn about your colour when you're mixing your yeah, colours as well, yeah. I would imagine. Yeah, have a really good play with your colours. I've never seen polymer clay. Sculpey polymer clay taken to £1.66 per 57 gram block. Never. Oh. My. Word. That wasabi colour's awesome, isn't it? Ice. Brilliant. Yeah. Like that turquoise as well, actually. There. Now, we've got a lovely message in from Janet, and she says, Katie. You are so talented. Whatever you are working with, you make stunning pieces. Oh, thank you. I'm getting all of it. Oh, she's yeah. got all of it. Oh, your little thank face you. No, I've gone all of it. Stop it. No, go on. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> she's great, though. You'd never know it was the first time. I mean, it's one thing making things, 
It's another thing having to come on air and actually demonstrate it. Yeah. So yeah, well done yeah. you. It seems to be always saying, oh, it's my first time, but they keep sending me the, it's that Hannah was born. Well, we, she keeps going, we, she, yeah, well, we keeps must have some confidence you in you, Katie, mustn't we? Because let's face it, if you'd, if you'd sort of, you know, stuffed yeah. it up once, we wouldn't dare do it again, would yeah. we? But you haven't. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's still time. Um, brilliant, brilliant prize point. Sorry, darling, what'd you say? Ooh. Oh, I didn't know we did them in... Oh, I didn't know we did them in this colour. I've not seen these close up. Oh, they're ice. No, I've seen them in the... Oh, I've got that much polymer clear. We've, uh, I've seen them in the, um, in the, in the crystal colour. Didn't know we did them in the... In the, in the is this the black diamond colour? <gasps> oh, they're stunning. You can have a little one to look at, darling. You get three of these. Oh, they're oh, beautiful. Aren't they amazing? These are the multi, uh, multi, well, they're the Swarovski pendants. They are the, now, when I, I'd like to just point out, obviously, with Swarovski, it's the man-made crystal, exquisitely faceted. It's known as the black diamond colour. But the black diamond colour's got these beautiful green tones in there. They're magical. Set across a beautiful gold-coloured backdrop. Um, the fact that, now, I walk past um, a Swarovski shop where I live in something Coldfield today. Um, I can tell you now, there wasn't a single item in there less than £10. Not a single item. You couldn't buy one thing for £10 in this Swarovski shop today, and I went in and I had a good route, and I did try. And we've just given you three Swarovski cross pendants for £3, well, for £9.95, and that equates to £3.32 each. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, that's a whole beautiful. suite. That's a pair of earrings and a, a pendant. Yeah. I mean, they are, aren't they lovely? They're absolutely beautiful. And they're even beautiful when you turn them over. Well, this is what I've said. I would actually consider just, if you just wanted to go out in gold one evening and have that gold yeah. colour, you could quite happily get away with wearing those Absol on the reverse. Absolutely. Look at that. I do like a pendant, though. If, if, if it was to flip over, it's still going to look... still looks beautiful. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, there's nothing worse when something's flipped over and the back looks really yeah. unsightly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's why, we've done the, that's why we've got them like this from Swarovski, because actually, if they are as earrings, you've got that beautiful uh, silhouette of the gold uh, from behind, and then, of course, you've got the beautiful black diamond colour effect, which, as I say, has got these hints and tones of these beautiful... Can you see what I mean about, like, the yeah. greeny tone yeah. in there? Yeah, you get them beautiful flashes. It's like almost, almost Moldavitean yeah. greens, really delicious. And true Swarovski style, uh, but without the Swarovski price tag of just £3.32. So fashion or faith, whatever your, whatever your preference, they are fabulous. £3.32. It's just ridiculous. How we've done that? I really don't know how we've done that. Really, really generally don't know how we've done that. Now, these um, are the largest Swarovski. Are these the 8mm ones? The Whoppers. Now, these have never been on their own before. These are the sapphire coloured. Swarovski, so it's a sapphire colour as opposed to sapphire itself, obviously, because they are Swarovski. Now, I've done something very simple with these. I, I nearly brought them into work today as well. I've just put them on a head pin. I've added them onto um, a pair of uh, shepherd hooks in silver, and I just wear one, one of these in each ear, and they look yeah. knockout. Yeah. They do. They look knockout. Do you fancy all... Six of those. You can make three pairs of earrings. I wow. know oh, for one pair. They've never been on their own, so you've never been able to do this. One pound ninety-five. That means for a pair of earrings, you're talking for the Swarovski sixty-six p. So if you made a pair of earrings sixty-six p put plus the shepherd hooks, which we had in the um, polymer clay kit yeah. earlier, didn't we? If, we yes. if you didn't, if you wanted to go silver plated as opposed to full silver. Personally, for me with Swarovski, I always go minimum sterling yeah, silver. Or if you got the head pins from earlier, you could make a shepherd's hook. Well. All those 76 mil ones, very good. Oh, actually, you could make the whole, yeah? yeah you could make a really elongated uh, shepherd's hook. Really and it'd like, all be yeah. in one? Yeah. Oh, that's a great idea, Katie, love. Um, they are going very quickly indeed. Now, how many have we got, Phil? We only started with 61, I'm afraid. £1.95, which is 33p, a Swarovski, and an 8 mil. Now, if that was a, like a 4 mil, I think that was one thing, or a 6 mil. But these are the 8 mil Swarovski. Yeah. That's impressive. Now, Simon just said, of course men can wear pearls. I'm with you, Simon, absolutely. 
I have a tiger's eye bracelet with one pearl in the centre and also a garnet stretcher with two pearls in it. I love pearls. Simon, good for you. I'm with you, Simon. So, Paul, there is no gemstone you can't wear. Who says you who can and can't wear gemstones? Wear what you like, Paul. Anything. No. And men, women, any, any one of us. Non-gender specific, wear what you like. That's the beauty about making your own jewellery. Yeah. You're not restricted to what you can and can't wear, are you? My eyes off those. <laughs> They're blue, stunning, isn't they? They aren't, they? Oh, yeah. Although I did traumatise my friend Katie in the pictures today. Because I've got odd socks on. I bought this pack of five odd I've socks. I've seen them. I showed you, flashed yeah. them, you didn't I? And my, my, my friend literally went, oh, put them away, I can't look at them. Because I've got odd socks on. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, Simon, I'm with you. Wear your pearls. What are you waffling on about now? He's saying he's quite impressed that I've gone to the pictures before I came to work. Well, why wouldn't I? Oh, no, I like going. I like mixing up a sociable thing when I'm going out to work, especially on the late show, because it means you've done something else other yeah. than go to work. I like it. I had the most of your day. So, do you fancy these in the wonderful rounds of turquoise? Big 10 mil rounds, aren't they fabulous? Oh, you know, I'd love to see those with like, um, let's say you got that, um, let's say you got the turquoise polymer clay, or, or, a, or with, the wasabi. Yeah, I, would, I would make something with those, yeah. Make a beautiful pendant with those. Yeah, and make Pop one of those labradorites in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Or just make a polymer clay bead like you did and just have one of those in the centre yeah. of those turquoise. Yeah. I mean, you could match with the turquoise, of course. You could go, I mean, any of these colours, polymer clay with those turquoise, look, any of them. Any of those would work, wouldn't they? Every single one. But um, yeah, I'm just going to show you these on because I think if you are going on holiday this year, I think you should treat yourself to some turquoise. Now, even with a busy stripy top with white and navy blue and bright blue and brown in there, it looks lovely, doesn't it? It does. Is it a new top? No, it isn't a new top, Phil. You've never seen me wear it on air before. I've only worn it on air once before. But thank you for noticing. Didn't say he liked it, mine, did he? Just what is that new top? I love these bright blue. I do. I abs Now, we did have those lovely white pearls, silver pearls, and black pearls earlier in that naughty deal that we were at yeah. £11.33 Strand. If you manage to get any of those pearls early and you want to put them with those um, fab, fab, fab turquoise, 250 carats, they would look brilliant. I'm just such a shame with them, actually, in case you weren't watching earlier. We've got any left, Phil? Yeah, I'm going to show you them anyway, whether they've got any left or not. £11.33 strand. Now, you could put any one of those strands in there. Any one and they'd work, look. The silver, the ivory, or the black. Every single one of those would work well with that turquoise strand, yeah, wouldn't they? Absolutely. I I'd I'd think I'd be going with the black. I think I'd probably go with the black. Yeah. Yeah, I think black or the white. Oh, imagine all the Yeah, mm, yeah. I don't okay, know. I it's between. difficult, isn't yeah. it? So we went to £11.33 a strand on the pearls. We're going to £11.95 for the turquoise. It looks fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Really, really lovely. So I've just got to show you with the um, sky blue opal as well later. That looks lovely oh, as well. Gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right then, I've got time for one more treat. Say that again, darling. What? Say that again. I can't even understand what he's saying. Oh, a, oh, a tutu, as in a ballerina tutu. That's one of those items I wouldn't care how much it was. Oh, no. I'd have to have them. Oh, they're lovely. They're rose, gold, and brass 
tutus and slipper charms. Oh. oh my friend's little girl would love one of those. Yeah. Actually. You get, oh, they're so cute. And you get three of them. Oh, look. Oh, Katie. I think that's one, I'm going to say that's one of my favourite things on Jewelry Maker ever. I think it is. Oh, it's, it's so lovely. And the, I think the colour makes it as well, oh, the rose gold. Yeah, because you think about pink ballet yeah. slippers, don't you? Yeah, ballet pumps. Yeah, of that traditional little, little pink outfit. Well, I've just been to see The Greatest Showman on Earth and the, the little girl wishes for some, oh. for some ballet pumps. Spoiler. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, sorry, Emma, because I've said to Emma, I'm taking you to the pictures to see The Greatest Showman, haven't I, Emma? Yeah. Let me see what you have. Um, Emma, aren't they cute? Are they yeah, not the cutest... Sorry, Emma's there. She stood there. They're just... They're just... I've never seen anything as cute as that ever. Uh, I mean, what's that each? One pound... Ninety-nine? That is lovely. You could, I, you could embed that into your polymer clay, but embed it with the, the skirt against yeah. the bottom and just have the, the yeah. ballet slippers still moving. Oh, I love them. I really do love them. I think they're just... Beautiful. See so them the dress on the hanger with the shoes. You can just imagine it in the war in the little girl's wardrobe, can't you? Well, you know, I mean they're just lovely. How many of those we got, Phil? Because I'd like to get some uh... Oh, there aren't that many left. Oh, I'll tell you what, you I've even got people coming in from Florida for those. They yeah. are adorable. My they little girl did ballet, but she only did it until the week that I bought her the outfit, and then she was like, no, I'm fine now, I've got the outfit. I did ballet for ages when I was a kid. Yeah, I know she, you she only did it for that. the outfit. She mm. did majorettes until, until I bought her the bath. Why did she do majorettes as well? No, she didn't want to do that either. Oh. <laughs> she needs to learn a bit of um, yeah, no, she's sticking to something. No. no, she's very good at sticking to <laughs> things now. Oh, she's <laughs> learned now. Yeah. She? That's when she's little. <laughs> she's like, Mom, I'm all right now. <laughs> uh, good evening, lovely ladies and crew. Waving hello, enjoying the show, question mark. I'm hoping that's actually... Oh, it's yeah. guest designer, Patty. Yeah. <laughs> hello. Hello, Patty. Patty made me a beautiful necklace. I know, I saw. And I've got your Xena um, little oh, tag on my key yeah, on my keys. Brilliant. They're lovely. I showed my friend. I said, look what my friend, look what my guest designer made me, Patty. <laughs> um, right then, I tell you what, um, we're going to go to a little cheeky break. We're going to come back. We've got a whole hour of goodies for you. Lots of star buys. We've got our today's must have You do need to be quick after the break. Oh my god, it's so perfect for Valentine's, it's, or any time of the year. Sterling silver, Baltic amber heart, I've only got a limited number, brilliantly priced. It's today's must-have. We'll give you a little sneaky peek, there it is. Every single one of those is individual and unique because of those unusual inclusions. It is perfection. It's your today's must-have. I've also got the treat of the one metre of eye light coming up at 10 to 9 in the next hour as well. And then we go back to the most fantastic demo. And Katie couldn't be more excited about her next kit because the shibori jewellery that she's made is stunning. So please join us after the break if you can and we will give you the chance to own that gorgeous today's must-have. Did you know that when you book a Jewellery Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewellery Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase.
It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. I'm here in the heart of Gdansk. It's an amazing place. Amber runs right through the veins of this incredible city. I'm actually currently standing on a street called Amber Street, and you can absolutely see why and where it gets its name from. There's amber literally everywhere I look. It's a tremendously important genuine gemstone to the people of Poland and something that Poland is absolutely famous for. caution if like me you are desperate to own this beautiful sterling silver symmetrical heart charm with the Baltic amber I would check out quickly I would um, I would actually put the I would even think about putting the clock in on this I would, to give everybody the same chance I, I, I would do, do you mind, boys? I know we hadn't talked about that. I'm just thinking, because I don't know about you, when I, when I see something that I am, I don't know about you, when I am desperate for on jewellery making, one of those things that I just feel like I can't live without, not even a want, it's a need, then this is, by, without question, a need. I like it when I have the clock, and I know that everybody, whether they're on the Jewelry Maker app, the jewellerymaker.com website, we're trying to ring the phone number at the bottom of the screen, you think everybody stands the same chance. It's like in a race, isn't it? When they do the on, mark, on your marks, get set, go. Everybody's ready in the traps, ready to go. And everybody's got a fair, a fair chance of winning the race. I'll tell you what, um, Mike, could you set the clock going, please, love? Yes, please. Right, we've all now got 60 seconds. Every single person across the globe has got the same chance to own sterling silver. And there's a lot of sterling silver in there as well. In fact, if I just show you the reverse of the pendant, you'll see how wearable it is and how smooth it is and how comfortable it is. I actually put a pendant on the other day that had got um, a, 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 a different backing on it and it was actually really scratchy. And it made me um, feel that I couldn't wear it. But this is sterling silver. It is smooth. It is beautifully set. You've got this gorgeous raised Baltic amber in the center. And as we know, Baltic amber is the best amber on the planet, without exception, the Baltic amber. It really is the best, the world-renowned quality. And the price point on this, we have gone all out to get you all excited for our Baltic Amber weekend this Saturday and Sunday. Graphics are in. You can all go, go, go. VQGY41. Um, yes, we've got Valentine's coming up. Of course we have. But I don't know about you. I love wearing hearts all year long. I'm on my own. I don't have a Valentine. But you know what? Doesn't bother me. Treat myself anyway. And actually, all the morning... Oh, my word. That's... Sorry. I was expecting twelve ninety five, and I already thought that was brilliant. He's just taken the post and packaging off as well. Ten. That's re that for me because you've got the, the very. Um, they're almost weightless, a Baltic amber. There's, there's hardly any weight to them at all. Yes, you've got the sterling silver in the surround. I would be wearing those as earrings as well as a pendant. In fact, I'd buy. In fact, I'd probably buy four at that price. I'd have them as earrings. I'd have it as a pendant. I'd have it as a charm. That is just wonderful, isn't it? It is. It's amazing. Oh, oh. my God. Would you like to see it as earrings? Would you like to? Would you? Oh, I can't believe that price. It is brilliant. Just going to show you those earrings, look. Wouldn't they be lovely? Oh, it's perfect. Perfect size, aren't perfect they? Perfect size. Now, I've got a sneaky feeling at that price point, they're going to go very... Well, they are going very, very quickly indeed. It is very much a first-come, first-served basis here at Jewelry Maker. We were... 
I can promise you now, supposed to be at twelve ninety five. So straight away, if you bought, bought, those of you buying two, Muriel, um, Mary and Jerry, uh, I've got some people like Rachel buying three, um, uh, Pat and Derbyshire buying three. Oh gosh, so many of you buying three. Um, Hadriana buying three. A lot of you, most of you buying two. Some of you buying three. Carleen, hello, lovely in Arizona. Lovely to hear from you, darling girl. Um, Nine ninety five. Now, why is Baltic Amber so? Well, Carol was saying there. She actually visited Poland to go and see Baltic Amber. Um, also, what I must mention is the family business that we buy our Baltic Amber pieces from, they are most particular. Um, there's no set time frame. It's not a big commercial business. It's family owned. And every time they make a design, they spend as long as it needs to get the design absolutely perfect. They are always limited edi editions. These are not mass produced in any way, shape or form. So you know you're getting one of a certain limited number of pieces. These inclusions are exactly what you want in an amber because they can be anything from instincts that are uh, instincts, uh, insects even that are distinct. That was extinct. That was an insect and extinct. It was an instinct. No, it isn't. So um, it could be an insect. It could be uh, plants. It could be animal species that are no longer with us. This is a time capsule to planet Earth. In Wales, we have our own Valentine's Day. Do you? I didn't know that. On the 25th of January. I didn't know that. Do you? Oh, well. That's news to us. I need to start buying now. I have less time than most of you. How come that is then? How, how come? Because does that mean you get to have two? Yeah, does that mean you get two then? It's what called? It's what called to be thou art? What? <laughs> St. Dwinwin. What? Who? Dwinwin. 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 Are we saying it wrong? Oh, well, well, we didn't know that, did we? We've all we learned something new there. I wonder if Ellen knows that. She will do, I would have had to. She'd know, wouldn't she? Yeah. Isn't Hannah Welsh as well? Is Hannah Welsh? I think Hannah's Welsh as well. I'm going to ask. I'm going to message them after the show and say, Hannah and Elle, did you know? I bet they do. How cool. Well, there you go. So if you do have anybody that's Welsh, and um, you, can, you need to be quick then, Dick, because 25th of January isn't that far away, is it? Next, oh. Next Thursday, is it? It isn't already, is it? Do you think you might be right? Yeah. Yeah. It is next Thursday. Oh, my word. Or is it a week on Thursday? 25th of Jan. It is your eyes. Yeah, I'm in on the 26th. Oh my so, yeah. word. Oh my word. Um, well, there you go. We've all learned something new. Oh, I did not know that. That's very interesting. So ideally, if you can get a Welsh partner, you can have two Valentines. Yeah. Well, that's a great result, isn't it? Yeah, brilliant. Um, yeah, so the Baltic Amber, world-renowned, best quality. Um... In fact, Phil, could you have a little search and see if you can find a Baltic Amber Heart online? Just to see what kind of, um, just how brilliant we are at 9.95, if you don't mind me saying. Because it's a big piece of amber as well, isn't it? 15 by 13 mil. Wow. Children, it's hard to it's hard to to actually do a price comparison on Baltic Amber because every piece is very different, and they're set different. And I can't even get we can't really do a like for like comparison really because we haven't got the sterling silver amount there. And that's what I love about the family business we buy our sterling silver pieces from with the amber. They don't even mention the silver. Don't even mention it because it's all about the amber. All about the amber. Could I just mention to my team of ladies in the street? I'm just teetering on being cold. Mm. Are, you, are you, Katie? I'm just okay. Are you? Fine. Could we just take the, the um, Arctic winds down a bit? Oh, Thanks, Emma. Thank you. So, I'm just starting to go a bit... <laughs> a bit chilly. Mm. It was cold when we got into bed last night. I had to get me up water bottle that Mark bought me. It was lovely. Whole story about the electric blanket. Whole story about that. Let's see everybody want. How many? Seventeen. Oh. 
Um, I don't have many of these left, my lovelies, I must just say. I'm just going to show you on one of my lovely sterling silver necklaces that I've got coming up for you. Yes. Here we go. Now, don't even need to add a, a, a jump ring. You can just... You didn't say the amber heart. You didn't. You didn't. Which amber heart then? Ah, got it. Oh, why is that six ninety five then? That's got to be wrong. It's got to be wrong. Now that isn't a Baltic Amber Heart, that's Christy Cola, Mike. <laughs> Do you know the late show? We're so on it. That's all I like, we're so on it. It was intentional. Messed up, was it? Really? <laughs> Baltic Cognac Amber. Oh my word, that is just beautiful. Beautiful. I think we have to have made a slight mistake there um, at 6.95. That's that's ridiculous. Louisa said, "Hello, team." Zena, I have used the word nudgerama twice today. You have a lot to answer for. Do I say that a lot? Oh, when I'm saying about the basketeers need, needing a nudgerama, have you? Have I started my own language? A nudgerama. So you don't know you're saying. Hello, Shanta. Good afternoon, my beautiful Katie Z and all the team. Hope you're all well. Love always, Shanta. Did you catch it? Did you catch it? Oh, I'll tell you what, the smell, Jane, of these freezers. Can we make a petition to say we want freezers in the studio all the time? Oh, they're delightful. They are about to sell out. To sell out. Now, you might now all be thinking, have you got the Chrysler on the show? Mike inadvertently let the cat out, cat out of the bag. You didn't do it on purpose. What is it with boys sometimes when they just will not admit they, were, they didn't mean to? <sighs> <laughs> and when they get, oh, I don't care. I tell you what, we don't mind you giving a little sneaky peek. Oh, we don't mind. We really don't mind having a sneaky peek of these. Don't forget the one metre of eye light is 35 minutes away. Woohoo! I bought this strand. I'll be honest, I did. I couldn't resist it. And I, I don't know if I'll ever do anything with it. I just love, because there's your reason. To be able to own a strand of genuine Chrysocola, genuine natural Chrysocola at these sizes in that many stones. I mean, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on my strand. It was the most ridiculous opportunity that could not be missed. This is such a collector's stone. I tell you now that I, I genuinely would uh, buy one of those at that price for an individual price of colour of that size. I would have them just on display. I'd pop them in a really lovely little bowl. Exactly. Just have them on display somewhere in my house. I mean, this is this is about owning one of nature's most most um, what, what word would I use? Revered, elusive. I think is probably the word because not many people on this planet. I and you could walk into a dozen jewellers and most people will have heard of Chrysocolor but they will have never seen it or had the chance to touch it let alone this size. There are only a handful left and do you know what lovely Jane we're all basking in the smell and the scent of your beautiful freezers that you sent me my lovely lady um, and you were the first one to check out and I'm so glad that like myself you've got this strand Jane you're gonna love it darling Wendy Nicola Jane Lynn in there she's gonna be ever so quick how many left Phil six 
There are six left and I would get an authenticity card for 25p. You want to authenticate those because I tell you what, I mean, they are instantly recognisable as Chrysocolor. There's, no there's no two ways about it. Louisa, you've got them well done. The only thing I'm concerned about is that people won't expect you to own a Chrysocolor of such a magnificent size. They just won't. So that's where the concern will come in. That's why you get your authenticity card to, to, to authenticate the genuineness of those. Well done. Well done. I'll tell you what, Phil, if we've got these old collector in Greater London, Lynn and Ayrshire, collector, they're coming in, uh, they're nearly gone. Oh. Oh. On and gone. Bit like the old Chrysocola there. Oh, they're nice. These will be, they'll be literally, they won't just be on it, because it'll, it'll be that quick. That was the on and gone. How quick can you say on and gone, Katie? On and gone. On and gone. There you go. On and gone. On and gone. Has anybody ever seen Jadeite on their screens on Jewelry Maker for six ninety five? O-M-G. For, oh my goodness, oh my giddy aunt. Who, whose aunt was giddy? Where does that my like, giddy aunt come from? I've not got a giddy aunt, no. no You've not got a giddy no. aunt? I've got lots of them, but not a giddy one. Oh, I have. Most of mine <laughs> are giddy. 200 carats of jadeite, 3 to 5 mil, but they do, so, 3 by 5 to, sorry, 14 by 9. It is very much a first come, first said. Now, Janet and John, and Jane, all the regulars coming in on those, you know how quick they're going to disappear, don't you? Six ninety-five. just remember today, £6.30 for a small and a medium coffee at the pictures. Oh, I'm going to say it again. Now, Janet and John, Janet and John, I've gone for two. I only had how many to start with? Twelve. Oh, well, that left ten. Now, listen to this. I'm over-allocated already. So, uh, it's, it's first come, first serve between Josephine, lovely name, Gail. Actually, Josephine and Edwina, don't worry, you've got them. We're down to eight. We now have got Gail. We've now got a collection Greater London. We've got Jane in Ayrshire. We've got my lovely Anne in John O'Groats. We've got the lovely Veronica in Cornwall. We've got my lovely Jane. Josephine has got them as well. Collector coming in. Heather, you've got a chance. Six ninety-five. No, don't. These are genuine. Genuine. I tell you what. If Mark Smith was watching them now, he'd have those on a one-coil memory wire bracelet. He would. He would. I had a right little gossip with him today, I did. We had a natter. Tell that again. Ooh. Ooh. Sterling silver. Heart bracelet, but the heart is the feature clasp. Isn't that lovely? Oh. So it's a really fabulous popcorn chain bracelet. 16 chances left, seven and a half inch bracelet. We're not staying there actually. Now what you do is you just take the heart off the top like that and then pop it back into that. How easy was that? Perfect, perfect Valentine's gift, isn't it? Oh, my brother would like to get that for his girlfriend. They're about to move into their first own house together next week. My little brother's finally oh, growing up at 31. Exciting. I can't wait for the phone calls. Can you, buy us a can you buy us a tumble dryer? We need a cat, we need a cat flap for the back door. Sis. Honestly, I'm his back. He thinks I'm his bank. He's, oh, he's out of personal bank. Now, just see, can I just see if that's easy to do up on my own? Yeah? So, if you put that there... Oh, well, well, that was easy. Did you see it? One-handed. One-handed. That's how quick I did that up then. You just, you just, you just literally hold the, hold the heart over the other heart and poof, gone. Look how quick I, You can't normally do a bracelet up that quick, can you, on your own? Yeah? £12.95. You'd never... I mean, £12.95, what's that going to get you? A pack of five knickers? A pack of socks? A candle? A little bouquet of flowers, a plant. Twelve ninety-five. You wouldn't think you could get a magnetic, beautiful heart bracelet about like that, would you? Do you know what my dad and my stepdad do on Valentine's if I'm on my own? <laughs> it's happened a few times. <laughs> they send me a Valentine. 
Valentine's card. Oh. So that I don't not get one. You never got a card at school. Well, didn't you? Would you expect to get one in primary school, would you? It's a bit young, isn't it, primary school? It's good Valentine's. In primary school, like in infant school. It's a bit young, isn't it? No, I never got one. What? Not at school. Not at any school? Not... Oh, no, I did at high school. Oh, big yeah. school? Yeah. Big did school. you all call it high school? Yeah. It was senior school. Yeah, never had high school. Anyway, we digress. How many left? <laughs> Four chances left only. Okay. <laughs> so easy to do it yourself. Should we just see how it, um, is it easy to get off yourself? Yeah. So just to prove how easy that was, you just put the bracelet on. Can I just show you that look? It's so quick, I can't even do it slowly enough. So I'll take that off, look. So you know, and put your bracelet there, put the clasp there, and it just, come here, come here, it's turned over now. So just put that there, put it over the top, that's it. That's how quick that was to do up yourself. Well done! 12.95, brilliant, brilliant! Oh, now then. This has got a little heart. Everything's Valentine's Day because we we got now. How many sleeps is it till Valentine's Day? Could you find out for me instead of trying to work it out in your brain? Because we haven't got that long. We go off at ten. Twenty-two inch necklace in a beautiful curb chain. Sits lovely. I love a curb chain because they sit so flat on the neckline, yeah, don't they? Beautiful, aren't they? They've just got that lovely flow around your neckline. Yeah, really lovely. 22 inch. We've got 28 days until Valentine's. Four weeks today, actually. So we need to start thinking about making for jewelry, for, for, especially if you're in Wales because it's the 25th. But it's also um, 22 inch maximum. But it also reduces really easily. You've got this the larger ball on the actual chain itself. It's ready made. And you've got the little heart at the end. So perfect again for Valentine's if you fancy. And then all you do if you want to reduce, once it's on the neckline, you don't have to undo the tag. You don't have to undo the class to change it to a choke. Oh my word. We've just be beaten half price. We have just beaten the half price, and once that's on, you just pull on the on, on the um, on the little ball chain there to reduce it or extend it as much as you like, and it's magical. It's like a it's like um it's like a seat belt. Once you've locked put that into position, it doesn't move. But then if you want to move it again, you just pull back on the chain, and it just reduces or lengthens, and again it stops, and it just stays in position. And again, you want to change it again. None of these changes are you having to undo the clasp like you do in a normal extended chain. You don't have to undo the clasp once it's done, once it's in position, you just pull on the little ball there to extend or reduce. £10 for a 22 inch chain is brilliant anyway, but £9.95 on a slider chain with the heart clasp is brilliant. How many of those were left? Great gifts. Valentines or no Valentines, weddings, because if you think if you've got your hair up and you've got the heart emblem at the back, brilliant. Brilliant. Great, that. I'm going to dinner at the Belchers a week on Saturday. My friend Nat, I'm going to hers for dinner and she's called Belcher. And I bought her a Belcher chain. She's had it already. Because they're called Mr and Mrs Belcher. Not the most attractive surname, but... Neither's broad bent like me, bent broad or broad bum, as I got called at school by the teacher. Aww. Shouted down the corridor, broad bum. Nine two five sterling silver. Do you think twelve ninety five was already fantastic for an eighteen inch? Lowest price ever. She you knows. I hope she doesn't. She's not watching. Because when I rocked up with my beautiful um, gift box from Jewelry Maker and I popped the Belcher necklace and I described to her that, I explained to her that it was a Belcher necklace. Can you imagine if she's now watching and she thinks I spent, well I didn't spend, now, 
I spent more than that, can I just say, Natasha? Because he's just taken it to the lowest price ever. I, thought, I didn't pay that. You don't have to try and show me up in front of my friends, Phil. Don't you? Five ninety-five for a genuine nine two five sterling silver. It's can I just mention as well? It's very weighty on the sterling silver. There, it's two and a half grams of sterling silver. And do you know what? Every single person so far has had a multi buy, apart from one. Sorry, I've just spotted one person hasn't had a multi buy. Some of you having two. Some of you having three. It's a great deal. And do you, do you, when you see deals like this, Katie, do you, do you um, get presents for the rest of the year? Yes, for, you know, yeah, that's what I do. I stock up. Yeah, I usually buy it two or three, and the, then it's stocked up. And plus, yeah. you know, it's just handy to have it there. Different lens, different styles as well, just to bob on yourself. Well, it's like, again. for me, I don't... Oh, sorry, I've got to, hang on, I've got to... I've got to oh, well, Zena got me jade-eye. Whoopee! Heather says, whoopee for you, six ninety five. You want a whoopee as well? It's brilliant. Have you got a whoopee cushion? Have you got a whoopee cushion? Has everybody got a whoopee cushion? I had one when I was younger. Yeah, I still got a whoopee cushion. I think they're great. Oh, we used to have one. Yeah, yeah, whoopee cushions were great. There used to be a great um, joke shop near where I used to go swimming as a kid, and we'd always go and buy like you know fake fake fingers oh, with look like the joke bin. shops. You want sorry? The fake soap. The fake yeah. soap the and the little wraps that, that make your on. mouth blue. And yeah, stuff like and that. Yeah. snaps that made a noise, and you know the fly in the eye to the chewing gum. That, and when you pull yeah. the chewing gum, <laughs> <you're like, laughs> <laughs> we need to have a joke day on jewelry maker, don't we? <gasps> that would be great. Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't it? Yeah. I've got this finger that you put on. It's really bad, and it's got like a. It's really bad. It's got like a cut in it. And I put dark lipstick in it, and I wrap tissue with it, and I come back and I go, ah, oh, and the amount of people I've got with that. I've been on, about to ring the hospital, you know, and I'm like, no, no, it's a joke. <laughs> in fact, I split up with a boyfriend over that cut finger once. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't see the funny side. <laughs> <laughs> he did, he did, he dumped me, he dumped me because he, because oh, I, 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 I did act it really well, and he act, and it does look like you proper cut you. <laughs> he pat me in. <laughs> <laughs> he did, he pat me in. I've not had much luck with men. <laughs> At least I'm fun. Can't accuse me of not being fun. <laughs> <laughs> right then. We have got such pretty Amazonite. And also, isn't it lovely to get Amazonite in a drop? Do you know what, Phil, if you can get that price in, slide it on screen, Tiger. You are not going to be able to resist these, even if you've never bought Amazonite before. Ready? Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Wow. <laughs> it's funny. But Amazonite, it's... <laughs> oh, okay. oh, bless her, she, she proper went, oh. Has anybody, can anybody that. believe that, really? What do you think? Oh, just get them all together, make a lovely cascade of them, oh. Oh, yeah. I'm and back on holiday now with my linen trousers on. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, these often get confused for jade eye. As I'm just saying. They do. They do. They get... And should we have a little look and I see how many we've got? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 42. You can have a genuine, natural Amazonite for seven pence. What can you buy for 7p? Honestly. A, ca a, a carrot? You'd be able to buy a carrot, wouldn't you, for 7p? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know, I, what, where do you shop, Mike? He thinks a carrot's 60p each. <gasps> Are they not? Actually, can somebody text in? Has anybody bought a loose carrot lately? Can you te can you stop the arguing in the gallery? Because we, to be fair, you normally buy a bag of carrots, don't you? You don't normally buy one, do no, you? No, no, it's a bag of carrots. Even if you're buying loose, you don't just going to buy one, are you? Which depends, like me, if you live on your own. So actually, occasionally I do buy one carrot. <laughs> but I can't remember how much I spent. <laughs> if I'm doing a casserole or something just for myself, I'll buy a two. carrot. You'd need two, surely. It depends no, on the size of the carrot. Depends on the size of the carrot. I buy a big carrot. <laughs> Have we, can somebody tell us the size of it, uh, the, the, the price of a carrot? Please. 
got to be less than 10p. 7p. So for the price of a carrot, we're hoping you can get a carrot for that. You could have a genuine, natural Amazonite. And do you know what? If you've never bought them before, there's your chance because that's like a little... It's, as I said, it's like when you go to the till in the supermarket. Okay, a loose carrot is 4p. So you could buy two carrots for one of those. 60p, he thinks a carrot is. <laughs> Obviously, he doesn't do the shopping to see, does our director Mike. Um, Pat says he's had two pennies, had two. Helen's had two. Cleopatra, please tell me. Cleopatra, what a. Wow. We have an actual Cleopatra in Greater London, you beautiful soul. Uh, Denise has had three, Kay's had two, um, Jay, everybody else, Katrina's had two, everybody's coming in and getting two and two and two and two. Brilliant. Wow. Speaking of Cleopatra, speaking of Cleopatra, I have got... Can you snappy? What a snappy little monkey. Start calling him. Oh my word. We have. Oh, they're my favourite. You cannot do two tone lapis lazuli liner 12 mil round in a full length strand at 4 95 Phil. I don't. I can't condone that. No, sorry, I'm not involved. As a customer, I'd be very happy at 4 95 As an accredited jewellery professional who appreciates, quite rightfully, the um, rarity and beauty of a genuine gemstone and all the work that gets involved in the mining, cutting, shaping, polishing, hand drilling, size matching, colour matching, threading, and actually bringing to jewellery maker, a fiver is obscene. There can't be 15 left. Oh, there can't be 10 left. There can't be anything else on the telly more important than jewellery maker with two tone lapis lazuli like at 4 I don't believe. Stacey says, good evening, Zena. I bought a whole bag of carrots today for 30p, but my girls just go in the fridge and randomly eat them. Brill show so far. Thanks, Jake. I love that. <laughs> Brill show so far. So far. <laughs> that keeps us on our turn, doesn't it, Stacey? Great that you've got the kids. Nipping into the fridge and having a little snack on a carrot baton. Sorry, get ask people to text in for what? What's your favourite snacking food? That you just go like that, like Stacey's girls just go into the fridge and just grab a snack. What's your favourite snack? That probably wouldn't be that healthy. It'd probably cheese. Cheese. Yeah. You're going to snack on some cheese. Yeah, I really need to. We didn't say it had to be a healthy stop. snack. Yeah. No, it didn't have to be crisps. a healthy snack. What do I go and I want to on? know how to get my son to eat vegetables. He will not eat a vegetable. But he'll eat vegetable crisps. Beetroot crisps. Can't get enough of them. Mm -hmm. Very strange. There must be ways. Mm -hmm. Any tips? Hide it. Hide it. Try. You could. Well, actually, no, I better not suggest that. That's why I'm not a parent. Um... <laughs> No, I'm not going to share it because that's why I'm not a parent. <laughs> oh, that's why I'm not going to comment because I'm not a parent, so I can't <laughs> say what I was going to say. <laughs> Do you know, when I go to nearly say things like that about what I would have, was going to say, I realise why I'm not a parent. <laughs> I can you imagine if I had a mini-me? Ooh. Be all right. <laughs> Katie! <laughs> well... Wait till I comment on your next demo. <laughs> You've not seen my mini me, he's a little monster. Okay. I've only got a few left of these, I'm ever so sorry. And that's why I've only got a few left, because we went to 5 95 I mean, why don't you put one of those Amazon like with those? Bit of the clash, too close, do you think, or what? No, I think that works. See, for me, that's too close, so it's just... I think I'd, I'd pop something else yeah, in there. Something, I think... maybe a chocolatey brownie colour or a black. Yeah, or we could go for those sort of blacky, black spin... Oh, actually, these would be nice. Look at those. What do you think with the um, garnet? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, that works. That'd be nice. Or oh, the black spinel. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, Vicky's just, we can't put Vicky's text on either, but Vicky's just basically come up with another suggestion, not dissimilar to the one I was going to come up with, but um, we're not allowed to play it. <laughs> but I, I'm with you, Vicky. Hence why we're not parents. <laughs> uh, right, then how many of these do we have, sorry? We did have 12 or we, we were? Right, we, um, we did have 16, but all the Ks are coming in. Kathy, Kirsty. Oh, now we've got Christine, now we've got Gail, we've got Jane, we've got Jennifer, we've got Lynn. In fact, we're over-allocated already. Larry Marr. That, that beautiful, beautiful lagoon tropical blue. Oh, hello, Anne. I've missed you, Anne. I haven't spoken to you for ages. She said, oh, it's for you. Hi, Katie. Hi. She said, don't panic. My son only ate two slices of carrots a week until he had a girlfriend. And at 19, he's now 35 and 6 foot 4 inches tall. I tried everything. I literally have tried everything. Probably not your advice, but... You don't know what my advice no, was. I will find out, though. Well, my advice would just be fill the fridge with just vegetables and then if he was hungry, he'd have to eat it. Mm. There was a, like, a man on the phone, uh, on the phone, on the radio the other day saying that he, the way he gets his kids to eat the five fruit and veg a day yeah. is that he, they, they, they do a chart with all the colours of the rainbow. Yeah. And they get a star at the end of the day if they've eaten all the colours of the yeah. rainbow in a fruit. So they'll eat any fruit, any fruit at oh, all. Oh, well, that's not yeah. so bad yeah. then. Yeah. If he's eating his fruit. Yeah. yeah, but he's, oh, yeah. no, if he's eating his fruit, no, that's something. He'll, he'll eat loads, loads I fruit. eat more fruit than I do veg. I'm a fruit mm -hmm. fiend. Veg. Just a bit more effort, isn't it? <laughs> Laura, evening, lovely ladies. Loving the show and the prices. My dogs... Oh, I wonder what you're going to say then. Love snacking on carrots. Oh, uh, my, my dog eats carrots every day. My Alsatian used to love potato peelings. You yeah. peel the potato, throw the potato peeling at the Alsatian. As soon Alsatian, as I get the peeler it. out of the drawer, she's, yeah. she's there. It's like oh, there you go then. Yeah. You've got somebody in the family eating, yeah. the, eating the veg. <laughs> <laughs> now, Vicky, can I put this one on? I'm getting a reputation of my messages being too cheeky to be shown. I best behave. Not going to happen. See, you're like me, but I have to filter, Vicky. We just have to decide whether we can read yours out or not, but keep them coming in, because you keep, you keep them laughing in the gallery. Heather said, I used to mash the veggie mashed potatoes. Heather, that's a good idea. I won't eat any ma mashed potatoes. It doesn't even like chips, really. We need to have a, we need to yeah. have a chat with this child. Yeah. What's his, what's his name? Oliver. Oliver. Yeah. He'll be in bed now. How old is he? Four. Four? Yeah, he's only four. Oh, he doesn't know what he's doing yet, does he? He'll get there. So, I'm just having a little <laughs> look. Oh, you've got a little four-year-old. Yeah, and a 21-year-old. Is it the same? No. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't make a difference. Well, I was just thinking, no, I was just thinking it's a big break. Yeah. Because, like, me and my brother are 15 years yeah. apart, but there was a different... Mom. Yeah. But I was thinking, oh, because it's interesting. It's just interesting. Yeah. Fascinating. What would be no... Oh, I'm in no... It's like, <laughs> you'll be nosy, Zena. Anyway, sorry. Sorry, it would be if I'd stop yucking. Sorry, everybody. I'm gossiping. I'm gossiping because I've got... I like gossiping and finding out about people. Do you think, do you think it's interesting finding out about people's yeah, lives? No. Sorry, Kate. But she's like, okay. I'm not <laughs> I've not seen him up. No. Oh, that's right. She's checking. But she's like, I don't particularly want to tell the world, thanks. <laughs> oh, little four-year-old, how lovely. He's super sweet. And a little monster, but super sweet. Because your, your daughter sounds a bit like me and my little brother then, because I was 15 when he was born, so she would have been yeah, 17. Yeah, she was 17, yeah. yeah. So a bit similar, yeah. Apart from, obviously, when you're growing up, they think, they think the kid's yours, which is going to be a bit awkward yeah, at 15 and you're pushing the push chair. Probably up until about three, she didn't want, she was like, no, yeah, not, seen, not like being seen yeah. out, no. Because <laughs> they think it's yours. I was like, will you just hold the push? No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, I'm just, yeah, it, but um, it's only because people get give you funny looks, which they shouldn't yeah, do. They shouldn't they're judge great people, together should now, judge. they're fantastic together now. Yeah. But like me and my little brother now, we're the best of mates, you know, because he's 31 and I'm 47. Um, now, do we agree that the neon appetite goes rather beautifully with the um, two tone lappies? Yeah. I'm very impressed. I'm back to you again. I'm so impressed you've got a 21 year old and a four year old. That is, that, wow. My best friend did that though. She's yeah. she's she's got two grown up children in their twenties, mm -hmm. and then she met another lovely man, and she's had a little boy with yeah. him, and she she loves it. Well, good for you. Do you know I marvel at anybody that's got kids? Because I think you're all brilliant. I don't know if I could do Aww. it. I, honestly, I'm in awe of anybody that's had kids. Genuinely, genuinely, I don't know how you do it. I can't look after myself. <laughs> 
Um, now, do we agree that with the Neon Appetite, that is the perfect... I'm guessing those two-tone lappies have sold out the ridiculous price you went to, Phil. Could you confirm if they have sold out, though, darling? They have sold out. Now, Vicky's just said, I work in a nursery and the kids eat anything at nursery and they're fussy at home. I've heard that, actually. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. Have you heard that? I have heard that. It doesn't actually... Doesn't apply to your little boy. Yeah, we Still tried, won't we tried have school dinners and it, it, it just got to oh, the point where okay. it was getting upsetting. So No point upset. Kid, they'll no. work it out in the end. It's like when you've got kids at home and they won't turn the light off. As soon as you've got to pay the bill, you turn the light off. <laughs> <laughs> Josephine said, both mine only ate peas and now they're in their late 30s and they cook everything, even asparagus. Well, there you go. See, yeah. there's hope for Oliver yet. Yes, he'll be fine. He's, oh, I love peas. Oh, I love peas. Yeah, we have peas with everything. Big bowl of peas with just a little knob of butter on them. Oh, don't like sweet corn, but and sweet, yeah, sweet corn. Who likes sweet corn? Yeah, love it. Together with the peas. <laughs> don't it actually does make me go a bit funny. Sweet corn. No, I don't like popcorn either. Anyway. Can we not talk about sweet corn? Seriously, because it makes you go a bit funny. 45 carats of the wonderful neon appetite. We're having a right foodie little chat this evening, aren't we, everybody? Poor Oliver's been discussed while he's fast asleep. <laughs> Poor kid, can't defend himself. Now Jacqueline's got, she's saying, peas and salad cream, yummy. I've not tried it, but I'd give it a go. I don't like salad cream either. Katrina says, my mum had six kids and we all eat loads of veg. Six kids? She was busy, wasn't she? It's going to be hard work having six kids. It's going to be hard work having oh. one. It's hard work having one. Is it? Is it really yeah. hard? Yeah. Well, it's hard, uh, yeah. I've only ever had one at a time. What should I have said? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the other one was 17, so she was practically grown up. She could fend for herself. Just keep thinking, if you got pregnant, how would you... Oh, sorry, finds a life. I have <laughs> nightmares about it. Suddenly thinking, what happens if you then think, actually, I don't fancy having it? Got you in trouble then, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. No, but I mean, yeah, as in, yeah. you're scared. I'd be yeah. petrified. I'm, I'm, like, I'm in awe of all of you that have had it. Honestly, I'm in awe. I'd be petrified. Julie says, hi all, going back to dogs and... Oh, thanks. Dogs and potatoes. Dogs are not to eat raw potatoes because it can give them symptoms of food poisoning. Do you know what it is? We were actually recommended by the vet to give my alsatian because she'd got, um, she'd got a uh, pancreatic problem. She couldn't eat meat. So we were actually told to give her the peelings with the skin. So we were actually instructed by the, it by the vet. In the skin. Though. Perhaps it's in yeah. the skin. But yeah, perhaps it's... I don't know. But yeah, because she had... Um, she had a, I can't think what it was called now, but she couldn't eat meat. An alsatian that's a vegetarian. Oh. <laughs> Right then, anyway, so Julie, but thank you, but she's no longer with us, bless her, my favourite dog in the world. Oh, don't start me on Gemma. No. The faceted or non-faceted, sweetie? Okay. Now, this is, can we try to, we've got faceted and, and um, non-faceted. On carnelian. Now, we had those really bright, saturated orange drops earlier, and I did say to you, if you were watching earlier, that you can get all different shades of um, carnelian. And I think this proves the point in that one strand. I'm just going to show you as well how we've actually got faceted look as well. And I actually wanted to show you those together. If we could do them back to back, Phil, I'd be very grateful. Because actually when you have a... I always think a smooth and a faceted in the same gemstone together in one piece looks knockout. Do you, Katie? Yeah, yeah they look beautiful together, don't yeah. they? You get that contrast of the... The beautiful plain yeah. shine sort it's of nice, thing of one it? and then the, the faceting the sparkle of the other. Well, I hope I didn't know it'd be dark giving it good mind you, she no, she was 13 when she went, she was born. Trouble is we get you get all different types of advice, don't you? That's the thing. Yeah. Would you believe? You never know who's right, do you? You'd hope a vet was right, but um there you go. Carnelian 12 mil rounds, these are just lovely. And I'll tell you what, you um I'll be doing these garnets later, Phil. Because they would just look fabulous, wouldn't they? Look at that for a lovely contrast. I'd actually put the faceted and the non-faceted and then add those garnets in as well. Yeah, I use those as a spacer because they, they kind of make that orange pop that exactly, bit more. Exactly, they bring the orange they? to the yeah. forefront, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, of course it would, 
Phil just said, my producer just said, would it work if you alternated the facet and the non-faceted? It would, yeah. Katie, Absolutely. look. Absolutely. I think it'd look great. You could either do it as a double strand or alternate, because I think that would catch your eye even more yeah, if you alternated I would the... alternate. Yeah, it'd yeah. be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I'm going to do this evening? I've just decided I'm going to treat my washing machine and my dishwasher. And I'm going to give them both a clean. I bought the new stuff that you can clean your washing machine with and clean it. I'm going to give them both. I'm I did my dishwasher yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, do you yeah. do it as well? Yeah. The thing where you take the cap off and turn yeah, it upside down. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to treat them both to a wash. Just decided. I'm in spring clean mode at home, even though it's not spring. So there you go, washing machine, overnight and dishwasher. You can have a little clean tonight. You can have a bath. You can have a bath. So there you go. Katie's, uh, Katie's like me. She gave her dishwasher a wash last night. Yeah. What about your washing machine? And they reminded me I need to do that. Yeah, there you go. You put a little you thing, in, a thing special yeah. Dettol anti, and it cleans all your washing machine. Yeah, what's your favourite appliance to clean? I love doing my dishwasher, my washing yeah. machine. Dish, it's really satisfying. It is isn't really it? Yeah. satisfying. Oh, it's, and especially the washing machine when it's, oh, it smells lovely. When you, when you open the door and, you, oh. yeah, and it's like, oh. oh, it's lovely. Honestly, treat yourself. If you've never washed your washing machine, oh. We have just matched the pro Now, that makes, if you don't mind me saying, the faceted even better value for money because you're not paying for the faceting. So that is lovely. Do you know what? We have just given you both of those brilliant strands. Both of them for... Is that £11.90? All of that there for eleven pounds ninety pence. Look at that beautiful, beautiful faceting. That is just beautiful. It does make you think of cocktails, actually, doesn't it? Because there's a lot of cocktails that have all these colours as the um, as the mixers. That'd be lovely. Oh, do you know what I had on my belated birthday meal Sunday night? Do you know what I had? I had a little cheeky sambuca. Oh, and I did enjoy it. Oh, mm. a little sambuca. It was lovely. Oh, sambuca. I only had one. I was ever so well behaved. Faceted rounds. They're lovely. Denise, well done you getting two. Why the devil not? I love the mix of colours. The daffodils I planted yesterday were a mix of colours with the, pet the flower petals and then the trumpet. There's all different varieties of daffodils, Phil. I had Rio, Bavoir, or Bavor. What was the other one? KD. All different, all different types of daffodils I planted yesterday. I know I'm a bit late, but I was being poorly over Christmas. I didn't feel... Excuse me, are we not thinking they look very um, chrome diopsidy? They're quite chrome diopsidy. Haven't they just? Gosh. I mean, that's a single pendant on its own, isn't it? They're a beautiful colour. They're absolutely natural. They have just had a little bit of a natural cedar wood oiling. That, oh, I've got to hold those to the neckline. They are superb. Soup. Oh, Katie, look at those. Those are beautiful, absolutely. Oh. I've never seen the, the, that nugget shape with as much colour, as no. much green in it before. Wow, that's a no-brainer again. Ten ninety-five for all of those in that size and that colour tone. I mean, can you imagine making each one of those into a solitaire ring? I mean... I'm just going to go to these sort of chrome diopside ones here because they, I mean, it's emerald, obviously, but they've got that, the deepest, richest tone. Look at that. Oh. Oh, and I'll tell you what, that'd be so easy with the drill hole straight through like that to, to make into a ring, wouldn't it? Do you know what I would be doing with those? What? Those green tassels, tassels are so on trend at the moment. They have, they just... One of those nuggets, the tassel down. Fashionable. Oh, amazing earrings. Everybody on the telly wearing fat yeah. tassel earrings. Yeah. 
Well, Simon Cowell isn't, but, you know. You never know. You never know, do you? Tell you what, I watched a little YouTube clip of him with this, like, this young girl with a, an, an old granny muppet. It was brilliant. And um, dummy thing, you know. And um, Simon Cowell looked really fit. I've never quite fancied him, but I'll tell you what, he looked... Poof. Anyway. Hello, Angelique. Hi, Zina, Katie and team. I like to clean my cooker and change my bed. Lovely to see you this evening. Love, Susie. Oh, Susie. Oh, yeah. Oh, I changed my bed Sunday night. Oh, no, Monday night. Oh, oh. that's the best, isn't it? Clean sheets. Yeah. My cooker, I, I, I buy liners to go in the bottom now, so it keeps I've it got on. those, yeah, aren't the, they the, great? Yeah, the, the Teflon ones, aren't they? Yeah. Brilliant. Amazing. See, we're now excited. Yeah. Stacey says, Katie, your little one, Oliver, sounds brilliant and funny. My dog refuses to eat veg. He can be worse than my two girls, and the cat eats the dog food. Oh, it's all <laughs> going on in your house, Stacey, isn't it? It's all going on in Stacey's yeah. house. Um... Heather said, my eldest is 43 and my youngest is 25 and I have five. Oh, Heather. Wow. Wow, isn't that brilliant? But that must be wonderful for the kids to have that age, you know, 20, yeah. you know, that 22 age, 22 year age girl. I'm just thinking how much is... That must be brilliant. I think I've got 16 years between me and my eldest brother. Sure. Think so, yeah. Yeah, see, I've, you know, I've got 15 years be between my younger brother and three with my, three and a half with my elder brother, but... I just think you've got that. You've got like friendships of yeah, different it's, ages it's in the same family. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not bro brotherly sister relationships, that but there's all lovely. different degrees of it as the yeah. ages have gone by. Oh, Heather, that must be lovely for you. That must be lovely. It's like my cousin. You've got seven kids. Ooh. Right then, do you fancy a metre of treat as your next star buy? <laughs> I didn't know how to take it because he's just paid me a compliment, my director, when everybody, the whole crew turned around and went, he just complimented me, I'm not used to it. I tell you what we can, can, can I tell you what we can compliment you with. A meterage of delight, of Iolite delight. It's going to make you smile. And I'm going to try and fold it in half to show you. Look at this. Natural, glorious Iolite. <laughs> And I'm talking about, I've folded it in half, and yet there is still, as we pan along, going to be half a metre in length because I've halved it. It's actually an entire metre of natural, glorious Indian highlight. The stunning ranges of the tones with the, because of the play of Crowism, the violet blues, the dark blues, the medium to light blues, and that's all because of a phenomenon called play of Crowism. I marvel at the fact, in fact, when you, Katie, can you see if I hold that up there? Can you see the really violet purple tones? Oh, yes. Can you see? Yes. Oh, they're stunning. They're gorgeous, aren't they? I love I like. Um, yeah, I love I I'll tell you what as well, I, we know, don't we, uh, the gemstones and the seed bead colours that always sell out the quickest tend to be blue. Because if think of the colour that um, Facebook use, one of the biggest businesses for, well, one of the biggest social media platforms and Twitter, but you know, Facebook primary. What colour do they use? Blue. Because blue is said to be very friendly. Yes. So. <laughs> the thing is, if you're starting to sell your jewellery, you go for the more obviously sellable colours your blues, your violets, your purples, your amethysts, your eyelights, your tanzanites. Just because it's a little bit more of a safe bet, isn't it? It is. Yeah. yeah. I think Iolite. I mean, I could just keep on wrapping this strand around the hand. It goes on and on and on. It's an entire 100 centimetres of a beautiful natural gemstone. Um, I don't have a huge amount. The price point is phenomenal. Um, there aren't many places in the world that you can get Iolite from anymore. You can get them in India, Sri Lanka, Mozambique, Brazil and Zimbabwe. And that's about the only locations that you can get Iolite. It's not... 
it's not found in many countries in the world. In fact, what was that, five, I think it is? Yeah, four, five places in the world that you can actually mine iron. Like, that's not very many locations, is it? It's quite sad, really. That's why we don't see a huge amount of iron like, for that reason. And I love iron like, because it refuses to be treated by man. Always natural. A bit like your garnet. And it's a shock of colour, isn't it? Now, honestly, what would you expect us to be able to get a metre of high-end iolite? And you can see the quality right there before you. It's very rich, this iolite. Very, very strong. Do you see? We've gone straight down to the price for you. That is for an entire 100 metre length. Oh, my, twenty-four ninety. Why are you doing an impression of the Frosty's Tiger, Mike? <laughs> I met the man that did the voice for the um, Frosty's. The Tony. The was it Tony? I, I, no, do you, and do you know what? He's a double bass player because he was in a band. I, I did a gig and he was the double bass player and he was the voice of Tony the Tiger for Foster's advert. Just thought I'd share that with you. <laughs> double bass player. Maybe interesting. Just thought I'd share that with you. Um, do, you do you ever work? Have you worked with I Like before, Katie? I've worked with it in rounds. I've not worked with it in the, in the rondelles. Ooh. But... I would be tempted to just make lots and lots of bracelets with that. Yeah, just loads yeah. of stack of bracelets. Yeah, so just what, seeing that wrapped around your hand then, it looks beautiful. Let's just see. I've just held onto the tassel. Let's just see roughly how many we could make. At least six. So at least six. And actually, yeah, just stack of bracelets. Yeah. They'd look lovely, wouldn't they? Or do a sort of five, seven coil memory wire bracelet. That'd yes. look great. Yeah. Great. But also, I'd, I'd, I'd quite like to just have it in the length around my neck. Just a yeah, nice, just nice go jumper all out. or something. Yeah. Just, yeah, just, yeah, just wear it all. Are you double, double, double eyebrow raising at me? Yeah, I can't do one. <laughs> 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 um, you can't see it with me, really, because of me fringe going in. Um, right then, now the good news, oh, I'll tell you what, this guest is on our over here, this lovely Katie is, she cannot wait to do the next kit, can you? Look at her little face, yeah. she's so, <laughs> honestly, I've seen her putting this on Facebook days ago, she cannot wait to bring you the Shibori kit, um, it's absolutely fantastic, you're going to love the demo, and you've still got some star buys as well, see you after this very short break. If for any reason you're not satisfied with your purchase, you have the benefit of our 30-day money-back guarantee. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. 
When we bring an item to you, all the graphics come on screen. And this gives you all the information that you will need to know, from the item code to the product description with all of the key information. Then the price comes on. And whether you join at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on-screen price. So, when you see an item that you would like to buy, simply pick up the phone and dial our free phone number and you'll get through to our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, you can join us at www.jurymaker.com and start your jury making journey today. Jury Maker, the one-stop shop for all your jury making needs. Who's been discussed all night? Yeah, yeah. I try and get him to watch me on the TV. Do you? He goes, put the cat things on. Oh, yeah. You got yeah. I'd yeah. have been I'd have been the yeah. same as a kid. Cartoons, mummy. Um, right then. I've got three kits in this hour. I've got seed beads. We've got ultra suede and shabori, which this lady is in love with. Is that fair to yes. say? Yes. Yes. Look at that face. Can't stop beaming. Everything matches beautifully. I've even got pastel tone Swarovski coming in as well. And these are lovely Valentine tones, actually, because Valentine's either tends to be pinks and golds or reds and blacks. There's all sorts of yeah. combinations, aren't there? And these are just adorable. Now, we've got here, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five tubes of seed beads. Um, what we've actually got is um, size six. You've got the Baroque Pearl Blush Pink Seed Beads in a 6.8 gram tube. And then, so that's this one here which are just lovely, those. Then in these colours here, you have got the Duracoat Galvanised Matte Hot Pink in the 11s, all 11s, the rest of them, the Matte Opaque Light Tea Rose, the Pearl Salon Seed Beads and the Amethyst Gold Luster Seed Beads, all in size 11, all in either 23 or 24 gram tubes, so full tubes. So four tubes in the, in the size 11s and your gorgeous... Baroque Pearl Blush Pink Seed Beads in your size 6. And to say that they're going to go, can I just borrow your, yeah. do you mind, just for a sec? Look at that. We have got two glorious tones of the natural, beautiful Japanese Shibori Silk. Isn't that lovely? They're coming up, and the Ultra Suede, and the Swarovski as well. She can't stop smiling. She cannot stop smiling on the shibori. And I think that is the effect that shibori does have yeah, on people, yeah. doesn't it? I opened it. It was like somebody had given me treasure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Now, these are going already. Gorgeous tones. Um, that means we've just taken those to... I can't work it out. My little brain's not working. Um, but um, that is four tubes of, of, of the 11... And your tube of your six. It's about the tones, though. And as I said, when you actually open these up, the, the matching by our kit team on those seed beads with those shibori silks is perfection. Would you agree? Absolutely. And I, it, everything just works so beautifully together. I tell you what, just to prove that point, Leah, Mike, could we just have a little glimpse of this incredible piece of work by Katie Parker. So it is a work of art. Yeah, I, I did have quite a bit of fun with that. It was, I, it was just an absolute pleasure to make. That is just stunning. And you can recreate something similar with the Shaboris, the backing foundation, that were ultra suede rather, those seed beads, the sixes, the ele there's the sixes going down, the, the elevens edging, and the sixes really make that design in my yeah, opinion yeah yeah they just uh, they offer that sort of separation between exactly between, yeah, and just really finish it off and that's the only thing about seed beads mixed in with shibori you can follow the divots 
of the shibori silk effortlessly with your CBs and your Swarovskis and it just, as you say, frames the work beautifully, doesn't it? Yeah. Wow. Um, so you can have all of those seed beads for £25.95, which is fantastic. I do have the Swarovski coming up and I do have the Shibori silks coming up for you as well. I think these are colours of Shiboris I may not have seen before, actually. I don't think I've, I've not. No. I may have seen this one, the uh, Berry Cobbler, before. But that one? But that one I've not seen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you what then, so you see beads don't need any more explanation. Hopefully you're all going absolutely berserk for those. Now the colours, I'm just going to check them. Berry, copper and rose. Now, what we've got here, I'll show you the rose first of all. Each one is half... What did I say? Cobbler, sorry. Did I say copper? Cobbler, sorry. Now, sometimes we do the shibori silks in the one tone. Sometimes we do them in the... Um, we bring them to you in the, in the different colours. All hand-dyed, all um, hand-painted, these beautiful silks, hand-dyed, Japanese silks, all pure silk. Um, they are tied... Uh, and ruched together tightly to give this this is the effect that you that you want ideally you can reduce some of that by um, having a little bit of steam or over a, a, a warm light bulb but again I don't can't imagine why you would want to perhaps you would no. want to I don't know but the joy and the ease that I've seen when I've watched I mean I originally saw Linda Brumwell because she bought Shibori to us here at Jewelry Maker thank goodness she did um, but Watching you, I guess, designers work with your boy, it amazes me every time how easy it is to work it's, with. It's so easy for something that the end result looks so complicated. Yeah. It is so, so easy. That's probably why I like it. <laughs> well, what, well, yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. So the rose colour is the one that we've just seen there. And then, actually, when you fold these out, these hand-painted, beautiful hand-dyed, um, shibori silks, it's, that's when they... I, I, I mean, I do like the single tone in the rose. But I do love the mixture of colours. Yes, yes, I do. But I do like mixing the two together because you get the exactly. different contrast between yeah. just seeing them beautiful folds in the, yeah. in the, in the pink and then the, the cobbler, you get that Yeah, different You've proven colours. that with yeah. your design. It's just beautiful. It really is. Um, and as I said, we, we, we've done d uh, DVDs. We do workshops on Shibori as well. A lot of our guest designers, anybody that's actually worked with Shibori has fallen head over heels in love with it. There's yeah. no two ways about it. It's just gorgeous. Oh, just to mention as well, what we've got here is um, normally you stitch onto a backing foundation, fabric, a foundation, and then you normally cover it, ideally all the stitch work with your shibori, with, um, with the ultra suede. And you get this, now again, I don't know if this is a colour I've seen, lovely combination with that, but this is the Arctic. No, I don't think I, I've yeah, not had I think that colour before. Yeah, but you can stitch directly onto that yeah, as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 it's not a problem. So you can either... Now, the found, sorry, just to prove, we do have a foundation fabric that um, we haven't got in this kit, actually, but we do have that. That's normally what you would tend to stitch and then cover with that, but you can do both, so it's either or. So they've got the Arctic, and you've got the... Um, what do we call it? Sorry, the Berry Cobbler. I love that name. And then we've got the Rose, and those two combined are perfect. And you get... Two, now, also, Linda used to always say to me, um, she's always maintained, that half a yard in Shibori is very generous. Very, very generous. Lengthwise. Yeah, yeah, you usually get pieces, I don't know, usually about this long. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're not normally very yeah. uh, sizable. So, actually, when we bring you Shibori, if you price compar comparing, do bear in mind that our Shibori silks tend to come to you, as far as I'm aware to date, always in a, in a, in a uh, half a yard. It's half a yard, about 18 inches. I'm never good with yards. I do apologise. I'm hopeless with yards, I'll be honest. 18 inches in yard. It is. Yeah, OK, there you go. So I have got that right. So two half yards, that's a whole yard of, of shibori silk, plus your Arctic, lovely tone, ultra suede. Now, I did promise you three parts, didn't I? So... How about we all... Oh, gosh, that's proving very popular. We are now going to give you... Now, you've incorporated these beautifully into your design. Great colours. I've got the bicones as well, but I've also got these. These lovely Swarovskis. Now, you get that they... You get the... In the pear shape, which is that one there, you get two of those. And they are 14 by 10 mil, and they are the beautiful rose colour. You also get 
in the Zillion Oval Dentel, you get this beautiful crystal and you get one of those. And then you also get two sets of the bicones. You get the formal in the vintage rose and you get the light rose AB in the six mil. So again, you've got this delicious Swarovski six mil, four mil, two of the pear drop, one of the dentel in the zillion um, uh, and just the most lovely sort of pink panther tones, valentine yeah. tones, bridesmaid tones, just gorgeous. And I do think if you are going to be creating some uh, valentine jewellery, I, I think this kit is almost essential, yeah, it's, surely. It's, it's the perfect valentine's kit. It Absolutely. really is. They are just gorgeous. If we just look at some of um, Katie's designs and see these incorporated in the designs. Thank you for the tea, Emma, by the way. Oh, that's no, that's the kit tomorrow night. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, we'll, sh we'll talk you through that. That's coming up tomorrow night. That's a little sneaky peek. But there you go, look. I mean, what a wonderful, wonderful piece of jewellery that is. Really stunning, Katie. Thank you. Really, really stunning. So, I uh, bet you're wondering what the price point is for all those amazing Swarovski, aren't you? How do you fancy all of them for 19.95? Do you know what? You get a lot of Swarovski for that 19.95, don't you? Yeah, there's a lot there. I mean, I just went really heavy with it in that piece, but you could be far can, more. Though, yeah, yeah, far more sparing if you wanted to be, but I just. Let's just to use it. I've got to say well done to our kit team because the Swarovski, the seed beads, the Shibori silk, the, 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 the way that they all go together is so lovingly put together. It really is. So thank you kit team for doing that. Really, really lovely job. Beautiful. Now, yeah. young lady... What are you going to teach so, us? What I'm going to teach you is uh, how to make it more three-dimensional. When I've done shibori in the past, I've used it quite flat. I've spread it out and used all them creases in it, but I've used it quite flat. But this time I decided to go a bit more 3D with it. Right. Okay. Then. So I've not pre-prepared anything, so it's straight from scratch. Okay. Are you left-handed? Nope. Oh. I just thought like you looked like you threaded a needle left handed. I do a then. lot of things left handed. Yeah, 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 yeah. I eat left handed. My knife and fork's in the wrong hands. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, so I'm just using white fire line. Okay. Okay, and a size 10 beading needle. Yep. Okay, and all I've done, this is the absolute beauty of Shibori, is I've just tied a knot in the end. Yeah. Yep. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to start at this top corner of, um, of our piece here. Yeah. This, this piece here. And just to show you how to get that really bulbous kind of yep. start to that it. Nice, and yep. then we'll go through like the, getting the twists and uh, what I've put inside it. Great, well. lovely. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to just come through it either side. So our shibori is going to sit in this little section here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are we yep. in the right spot? Yep. Yep. So our shibori is going to sit in between my, my thumbnails there. So I'm going to come through. And you, have, you don't have to be too particular, do you? No, the, that's the brilliant thing. You can yeah. be as messy as you like on exactly. the back. Exactly. Yeah, I just take the thread straight across all, that's all what, the time. Yeah, yeah. and, yeah, and you, can just, you can just cover it all with the, yeah. with the ultra suede. Yep. So, and they also, the other thing I find is people are a little bit scared of cutting it. So with this piece, I worked with it until I needed to cut it rather than cut a piece. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What you'll find with, with Shibori is that you've got a duller side which is that side there and then on this side it's more shiny so you can see see the difference between it and you can use it either way it's mm -hmm. entirely up to you it looks beautiful both ways okay so you can see that that kind of matte section on that twist there and yeah. there okay so what we're going to do is what i'm going to stitch it on in this direction so that i can bring it back over yeah so we haven't the got, got the end on this one okay so I'm going to turn it around this way so it's best for me working. So I've got the dull side upwards. Yep. Okay. And what I'm going to do is my threads come through there and I'm going to go in about a centimetre, half a centimetre, and come all the way through all these little pleats. You sort of concertina in it together yeah. to catch them. Don't worry all, if you it? miss one or yeah. you know, you don't have to be too particular because you're going to come back through it anyway. Okay. So, and then you're going to lay it down. Mm hmm on there and stab back through 
Because it's called a stab stitch, isn't yep. it? Yep, just yeah. a stab stitch. Just got caught on a needle there. Yep, and pull that through. And then just for a bit of extra security, we're going to come through just in the same spot again and come all the way through all these pleats again. Okay. So pulling that through, make sure it's quite taut and through again. Like so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. now you should be able to pull this back and decide where you're going to work your shibori. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to decide on our design. So I'm not going to do it exactly the same because it's yeah. it, that's the beauty of shibori. Exactly. It's never going to be exactly the same. So this one we're going to take maybe down this side because you can see when I've turned it rounder, that's the way it's wanting to go. Yeah, it's, it's curving yeah. that way. So don't try not to work against it too much if, if you don't don't have to. So we're going to come down that side. And all I'm going to do, sorry, let's turn this around, is tiny little stitches right in the very edge there yeah okay so don't have to be too close together so mm -hmm. i've left you know from where i've stitched over here and to, to over here it's uh you know it's quite a distance because as we add our seed beads as we go along that everything gets more secured in yeah, as we exactly. go okay so we're going to add a little stitch in there and then we're just going to take a look at it again and think yep we're going to continue coming down this side yep and back up through, just catch the edge of that shibori in there. Mm -hmm. Through there. And then I think we'll take it down just that little bit further. We'll put twist in around about here, I think. So we'll just bring that down. So we're going to fill in this little section with seed beads after. Mm -hmm. And pop a little stab stitch in there. If you feel like you need to put more stitches in, do so but you really don't you really need don't to need because many, as no. you fill in all these little gaps and put your edging on mm. you're going to catch it, yeah. it all in in any case okay when i first so. saw saw linda sorry to take you back to linda no, but obviously right. linda was the no, first no, lady to, to bring it to us inspired me to have um, a go as well she, it always amazed me she would literally the bare minimum stab stitches yeah. in the shibori and yeah and it so yeah you, i think until you actually see it being done you, you might have a little bit of panic might you but hardly any stitches needed Yep, so we've secured this side. I know it's only three stitches, but that's literally all need. it needs. I'm not going to fill, do this side just yet. I know where I'm going to take it. So it's oh, going to okay. be so around about there. there. Okay. Yeah, so I can kind of just pop my finger there and think, yeah, that's where it's going to be. You this... could always just give it a little pin. If you do it, could you pin it into position yeah, if you if wanted you, to? Yeah, if you were I've a bit... got a needle here at the If you wanted to visualise yeah, it, perhaps? Yeah, you could, uh, yeah. I'm just, just uh, thinking, because I'd need to visualise it. Yeah, so you, you could. You, you wouldn't do mind that. doing that, then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I know that's a needle, but yeah, I've popped a okay, pin in that. Yeah. Okay. Just and then all I'm going to do is just pop a twist Ooh. in there. Okay. I'm going to push it back a little bit. Yeah. So that I know I've got something to to fill in here, and then looking at this, we don't need to stitch through the actual twist. I can stitch here and here yeah. so that everything's secured. So just popping our needle back I like that with the twist again. In it. Yeah. I just thought we'd try it because normally I would just make that, this kind of shape and then pinch it together a bit like, like the other pieces that, I, that I've put on and yeah. thought, let's just have a play. So, yep. So it'll try and spring back because we've got that twist. So just pop your little stitch in that side. And then again, securing that twist, popping a little stitch in the other side. Okay, so now we've got that twist in place. Yep. So I'm just going to leave that there for a moment because yep. I'm going to work it away. But I want to see, because you're yeah. designing it as you go kind yeah. of thing. It's Unless all very you, organic design, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's organic. So what I want to do now is, is secure this piece in place so I can see how much three-dimensional look we're going to get to it. Okay. So we're going to take this needle out. And think, right, that's going to go across here. Now what I did was you can... I stuffed it basically. Charming. <laughs> so you stuffed the shibori. You stuffed it. So you can use chopped up pieces of felt or anything you like really, but I just use cotton wool. I was just going to say, isn't that cotton wool? Yeah. Yeah. So, so don't just stick a huge piece in it. Yep. 
I love cotton wool. Do you want some? Yeah. I guess. <laughs> yeah, so, so just, oh, that tickles. Make it fluff out a bit so that we get, some, get a nice shape. And then we're just going to pop this inside. So it's got, it's got that three-dimensional look to it. So if you look at it kind of Aww. that way on, you can see it's, it's yeah. got a bit more depth to it. And then we're just going to pop those stab stitches into, yeah, into there. Yeah, so we that can see that three-dimensional look. So bringing this down. Just pop, just securing this in with just few stitches at either side again. Yep. So. There. And what I did was I did leave quite big gaps. Yeah. Just in case I decided, oh, that's a bit too stuffed. And I could just use Take my... Take it back. Yeah, uh, I could just use out. my Great chain nose idea. pliers and I could just tease some out right, so idea. you can you can adjust it as, as you yeah. go okay so just going to put that one last stitch in there to give it a nice shape try not to uh, snag the rest of it <laughs> yeah but you can see as I'm working on the back there is huge stitches straight across the back everywhere yeah. don't worry about that you're going to cover it anyway yeah it's going to get covered okay so, so and then we're going to, yeah, so we've got that nice, and we've, you yeah. can see all them beautiful folds in it. And then I added the next piece, and that, that one I think I decided to just gather up as usual. Yeah. And uh, finish the ends just more Yeah, because you can out. fan over the edge, you don't yeah. need to, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so a little tip, if you are going to use that, that technique where it's just gathered in and the ed edges are fanned, I just uh, used just some clear nail varnish. Just dab it on the very ends and it'll stop it fraying. Just to seal it. Yeah. A good yeah. idea. Don't make sure it's not very wet, just, just literally just the ends because you don't want to, to stain it as well. Yeah. Okay, so we've got that, that piece there. To secure the Swarovski, all I did was use my trusty E6000. E6000. Yeah. Yeah, so and let that That's dry. a big old cheeky tube, isn't it? It is, it is. It's the only one I can get at the moment. <laughs> Well, I don't mean to go into the whole sizes thing, but you should have seen the size of Patty's. Did you did, see it? I did. I was a bit oh, jealous. What? I, you know, she got I was sat there watching. I was thinking, well, I thought I had a big tube. Well, I'm sorry to say you don't. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, so literally, and just just glued them on and let them. Okay. I probably because I was a little bit impatient, I probably left them for a couple of hours. I really should have left them for longer than mm. that. But I was a little bit excited and impatient. Okay, so I'm just going to talk a little bit about um, adding the Swarovski bicones. Okay, okay. yeah, so, lovely. So you'd, you'd work your design, but we're just going to work with this area that, okay. that we've got here now. Great. Okay, I'm not going to cut that because uh, it's a bit of a shame to cut it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Respect okay. the ribbon. Respect. So, so I'm going to come up in this little section here. Yeah. Yep. So this little section. In fact, no, I'll do it this side and, the, and then the camera can see it better. Okay, so I'm going to come in as close to that twist as I possibly can. Okay. Now, I use the, these larger ones. What you'll find is the um, bicones, because they've got that AB coating on them, yeah. one side is different to the other. Yeah. 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 So I've used them in different ways all the way through so that you get that dif differential in, in tone. So remember, whichever way you pick it up, so I'm going to pick it up. If you take a look at it, you'll get the AB on one side. You can yep. see that glistening there. And I'm going to pick it up through the opposite side so that we mm -hmm. get that AB coming out at, at the top there. And then just popping a little size 11 seed bead into that there. Mm -hmm. I just love the, the way the colours all match. Yeah. It just, it just worked. And using this technique on the bracelet yeah. gave you that, that kind of starburst effect. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back down, but I'm going to miss the actual uh, seed bead. Come back down and just make sure I take it on an angle because I want the the bicones to sit on an angle. Got yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. So pulling that through. 
Okay, and now I can see, because the bicones, they kind of tessellate with each other. Yeah, they do. Yeah, so I know I need to put one there and one at the other side there. Okay. Yeah, so just making sure that you're kind of building up a pattern. So you can come through about there, so that's coming through next to that bicone, so it's going to sit next to it and tessellate with it. Okay, making sure I pick up the bicone in the same direction. Yeah. So that our colourings stay the same. Adding a size 11 seed bead, letting that drop down and just check where it's sitting. So yeah. Make sure it's sitting where you want it to sit, mm -hmm. okay, before you pop your needle back through. My size 11 is still on my needle there. Back through and through in, like I said again, in that direction so that we yeah. get them sitting in that nice direction like a, a burst outwards and then I'm going to come through at the other side. And then again, pick my bicone up. Let that drop down, make sure, yeah. give it a little push in and make sure it's kind of nestling in there with, with the others. Yeah, so it's just sat there and pick up my size 11 mm -hmm. and back through. Yeah. Okay, so you can build that up as much as you want to. So we're just going to pop those, those three in there for They're now. Lovely. Yeah. So, and then you can build it up and really splay it out like I have done on, on, on both pieces. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the other thing I could show you is the little pink, the hot pink section in the middle where it's kind of all interwoven with each other. Have we got time for that one, Phil? Time? How long would it take, darling? Uh, just two minutes. That's great. Yeah, is that okay? Yeah, we yeah. can definitely do another couple of minutes. We'd love to, yeah. if that's okay. Yeah, great. Thank you. Uh, yep, so just using all, all we're doing, I'm going to come up, I'm just going to do it in this section Great. Right, this okay, side yeah. of the twist. Okay, come up anywhere, it, there's no rules or anything to yep. this. So coming up at the other side of that twist, and because uh, I always pick up odd numbers, yep, so I'm going to pick up seven. Sorry, I don't want to put my arm in front of that there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Now what you would normally do if you're filling in in the straight lines is let your beads drop down, yep. uh, let them come across yep. and then you'd stab straight at the end of there. Mm -hmm. So this time I'm going to give it a little push just to ah. make a little loop. So I know that's shorter than what I need and stab through. Okay and then pull that through so it's actually giving us like a little loop there. Ah. See that? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then all we're going to do is, we, is come up anywhere near the middle of that loop. Okay, so our needle's coming up through just in the, in the middle of that loop there. And then add, again, seven. Seven. And drop, let them drop down and make another little loop next to it. So letting them drop down flat, giving them a little push. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what you can do is slightly cross them over a little bit. There's no sort of rule to it. It's just lots and lots of little loops, and it gives that really sort of intricate detail. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you just you just continue adding your sevens. At and that fills quite it, quickly, I would imagine. Yeah, it fills really quickly, Great. really simple, but gives a really nice effect. It's lovely. You thoroughly enjoyed this, haven't you? I did, I did. I got a little bit lost in it. I spent an entire day, and when I say entire day, I mean like from 9 o'clock in the morning to 11 o'clock at night. Really? Just lost in it, yeah. But isn't that great? In, in this day and age, with the pace of life and the stress and the things going on and things, I think if you can absorb yourself in something so totally mesmerising yeah, and absorbing... Put it down. But yeah. I bet that was quite relaxing yeah, for but you. Even even adding all the backing to everything, yeah. I find that so relaxing. All the that beautiful. I mean, there backing. you go. Look, see all that. In fact, can I? Can, would you mind if I just turn yeah. that over? You probably can't see it very well because it's white on white. It's white fine line on white. But you can. Can you? You can't see it. We'll, we'll just see if we can try can, and. If you. If you just hold you. There you go. Can you see? There's a lot of stitch stress. work there. But you can hide all of that by adding the Aztec or any kind of ultra suede to show that there's no workings at all. Hides all that stitch work beautifully.
That Aztec, uh, Arctic even rather, yeah, sorry. With the that white Arctic. fire line, it's just totally disappeared. Yeah, every single that stitch. is lovely. Yeah, lovely. I can understand why you've thoroughly enjoyed that. I really do. So thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Brilliant. Um, thank you. Isn't that, fun? that was lovely to watch, wasn't it? You're right. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do now, because I've still got two star buys to do this hour, so we'll start with the first one for you now. If you fancy a rosary link design, but you don't fancy doing all the rosary linking work, the time consuming work, how about you treat yourself to one of these then? How do you fancy a metre of silver plated chain, 45 carats of these beautiful amethyst nuggets, rosary linked? Isn't that lovely? That's beautiful. I'll tell you what you could do. You could do a great necklace, you could do a simple bracelet, I'm going to show you all the options. You could do an entire suite out of this strand, because it is a metre, so you could have a lovely bracelet, nice and simple, you could do a lovely necklace. Then let's say, what do we reckon? You could get away with three drop earrings. I'd probably go either five. I think I'd probably be a fiver. Yeah, or if you've got the chandelier findings, you could add yes. a different lengths of them. Yeah. yeah. Or seven, whatever you fancy. So you could do lovely drop earrings, bracelets. No. I dare you. Go on then. Go on then, if you reckon you can. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, man. Oh, my word. I mean, what are we on today? Is it the 17th today? We're only, gosh, what, 14 days, two weeks away from February? So that'll be February's birthday. And again, great for Valentine's. You've got, I mean, at the end of the day, he was St. Valentine, wasn't yes. he? Let's face yeah. it. Um, so we've got, we've got the beautiful amethyst. We've got uh, 45 carats of amethyst in there as well. Um, these beautiful, have you seen all these lovely, real symmetrical and symmetry to those beautiful rosary links? I mean, there's hours of work in there, aren't I would, there? I would, I, personally, I would not take on that task to do all them route. I would just buy this. Would you? Absolutely. Yeah, because some people, yeah. some guest designers and some people love doing rosary link. You know, the people think, yeah, love the look, but I don't have the time yeah. or the inclination to do it. So like Katie says, she's honest. She's just going, yeah. do you know what? I'd rather do shibori. I'd rather yeah. do other things. I'd rather, I don't want a rosary link for that long. I'll buy it already rosary linked. And there's nothing wrong with that. Because the, if you, especially if you're selling jewellery or doing a craft store, the more that you can actually... I don't want to say the word cheat. The more you can cut corners. Yeah, time saving, isn't it? Time saving yeah. to do the filler pieces yeah. and then concentrate on yeah. the mediums and the and the pieces that you love making. Yeah, because yeah. if you're using it in that respect and you, it's your time saving, you may you may think in your head it's just the chain, but somebody looking at it will think, wow, exactly. Look at the yeah. time that's got that's gone yeah. into that. Exactly, and it can change the whole overall perceived yeah. value. Of your jewellery, adding little pieces like this. Sally's just said, "In Nebraska, Zena, love, will you be my Valentine?" Sally's my lovely friend. Sally, yes, Aww. you can be mine. I love Sally. She's fellow thespian. Ah, Sally. How's the snow, Sally? Bad at the moment? Is it all right? She gets snowed in really bad, Sally. Sometimes <gasps> really bad. She has to have like all provisions. Mind you, I was listening to all these, what was it, 200 people got stuck on the motorway up in, um, in Scotland and they were telling you all the things you should have packed in the boot of your car. I haven't got one of them. I must admit, the other week when I was stuck on the motorway, I was thinking, I wish I had things stuck in my car. Yeah, but hang on, have you since done a little emergency? I bet you haven't, have you? No, I haven't. No. I, no, was looking, I was looking on, a, on a Twitter and people were asking, my, my children's run out of snacks and things like that, so I didn't have any for them. But it has made me think, I mean, I always put my coat in the car. But I thought, um, yes, I've got my triangle, got my warning triangle, but I thought I must put some little snacks in the back end, but not so much food, but, like, either a bl I'm going to get a blanket. Yes. I am going to get a blanket, because I haven't got a blanket, because these people were stuck for seven hours in their car, yeah, in I the snow. I my husband off today, because he's coming out cold. Oh, no, see. And, and always make sure you've got a lot of fuel in your car. I, yes. I, I never drive on dregs, just in case something ever happens. No. I, 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 I always make sure I've got more than half a tank. 
Always. Always, because I just, I just, I just now couldn't bear the thought of it. Well, I think, yeah. I think getting stuck is bad enough. But then thinking, can you imagine being there thinking, I'm, I'm going to run out, I'm going to run out, I'm going to run out. Oh, I don't need that as well, do you? Right. Oh, imagine that as a glasses chain. Oh, that's a good that's idea. A good that oh, okay, you just come up with a great idea. Glasses chain. That's a lovely yeah. idea. There's a lady at my my doctor's receptionist. She has got a black spinel glasses chain. I see. Ooh. That's a great idea. I thought of that. Oh, well, I can't wait to take these freezers home and fill my lounge with a beautiful smell. I've had to throw two bunches of flowers out as well yesterday, so that's perfect timing, Jane. Speaking of flowers, wow. Have you seen those? Wow. I've seen them on, I've not seen them in real life. They're amazing. Look at that. Brass bead caps. They are... Do you think they look like tulip heads? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, my word. Now, we're always talking, aren't we? I know Claire... Ma Oops, a daisy. I know Claire McDonald's always talking about um, how beautiful it is to have... Um, fl I'm going to take those off that blackboard, actually, so you can see them properly, because they've got the most sort of beautiful, almost blue interior. Um, and whenever you're adding flowers into a design, look at that. They've got a, a hole central right through the base of the flower, bee cap. So, oh, hang on, let me see if I can turn it. There you go, look, so you can see that hole right at the base. So they'd be easy to, I mean, you could attach those into those shibori designs. Yeah, you could attach them on, onto the, the ends here. You could definitely, definitely do that. Yeah, that would look lovely yeah. just at the top of the design, actually, in the, as you say, in the yeah, corner there. Yeah, yeah, you could just thin, thin out this section here and attach, attach to the end of there just mm. using some wire. Yeah. They are lovely. But again, as well, can you imagine attaching the, uh, some featherweight headpins through the centre, having some stamen in the centre, and then actually have them in plants I, yeah, and bouquets? I, yeah, and... That's, that's what I was looking at. I was thinking, well, what could you get inside there? Yeah. I'd probably try and get a, a larger gemstone just to weight them a little bit yeah. on some wire, pop that in, maybe pull it out a little bit, and then have some stamen coming out from yeah, that. Yeah, that would look yeah. beautiful, because they've got lovely voluptuousness about them, haven't the they? The colour of those as well, they're really vintage, yeah. aren't they? And they, look, they do look very vintage indeed, yeah. don't they? What do we go to? What, 99p each? They're oh, lovely. Wow, beautiful. Look at them! <gasps> oh wow! Are they coated spinel? We've got to do them. They are. Oh, I love anything coated. I oh, know. Oh, got to do that. Can I do that? Can I bag it that strand, Phil? Right then. How about we do a little on and with some tanzanite? Forty carats of gorgeous. No other word for it. Gorgeous tanzanite. 40 fabulous carrots. Now, we talk about tanzanite. What's your favourite tone of tanzanite? The lighter, the medium, the darker? I'm more of the lighter. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah. I mean, that to me is just perfection. Yeah, yeah, that, that would be my, my go-to. Yeah. Like this little section here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I'm with you. I mean, I know, I know you can go right deep into yeah. the quad A's of tanzanite, but... And, we're, and again, you know, the lovely thing is all tanzanite is a thousand times rarer than a diamond. So you've got rarity, you've got that beautiful, we've backed those beautiful blues and violet blues. So again, you're talking about a very wearable gemstone. This gemstone is not only a birthstone for December, but it celebrates childbirth. We've been talking a lot about ch children tonight, haven't yes. we? So anybody you know that's having a little baby, we've had two lovely nannies coming in tonight saying, oh, I'm going to be a nanny in 2018. Lovely gift. Lovely gift for the mother of your grandchild because it's the, the gemstone of childbirth and it's also the gemstone of new beginnings. So that's perfect gift for somebody about to give you a grandchild. And you don't have to break the bank while doing so. 11 95 Now, how popular a granny are you going to be or nanny when you're presenting a Tanzanite piece of jewellery to the mother of your grandchild? They're never going to think you've, you've uh, only spent that, are they? 11.95. Now I am limited on this deal, obviously, because it's a steel deal. Is it not? 
Glenda says, good evening all. Loved watching the Shibori demo, thank you. I'm in process, process of doing my mum a Mother's Day card in Shibori. What a great oh, idea oh, that I is. I might have to steal that idea. That's that's a fantastic idea. That is Please send that picture. Brilliant. Yeah. Can, we, yeah, can you send that into the Wall of Fame, Glenda? When is Mother's Day? Is it March for us? 11th of March. 11th of March. There you go. Actually, how come you knew that's a quick... It's my mum's birthday. Oh, it's your mum's oh, birthday. Yeah. Oh, wow, double bubble. Will she get two presents, Mother's Day and, and a birthday? Yeah. She will. Yeah. Good. Do you know, I still buy um, flowers for my mum, even though she's been dead 18 years. Oh, Every Mother's Day and, and birthday and stuff. What do I do with them? I put them next... I've got a bench that's got her name as a plaque in my back garden, and I put them next to the oh, bench. That's beautiful. And I have a cup of tea with her. That is a brilliant... Do you mind if we steal that, yeah. though, Glenda? What a great idea that is for Shibori. Yeah. That, oh, I'm doing it. Well, do you mind, Glenda? Yeah. Katie wants to borrow that idea, yeah. if you don't mind. <laughs> Could I suggest that you do pop that into the Wall of Fame, though, Glenda? We'd love to see it. Yeah. Oh, so... I love the way we do a oh. delicate graduation, just very yeah. subtle. Just gentle, really subtle. Look at this. These are great quality, those. Great colour on them. Yeah, well, for... for, for, yeah. Um, for, for I mean, again, that is, up, that is textbook. Now, when we say textbook, what do we mean? We mean that if you opened a gemstone textbook and it was advertising aquamarine, that would be... The perfect picture, the perfect photo. Absolutely. Do you know they were the original? Um, you took a pink sapphire on your engagement ring. They were the original engagement stone, aquamarine, oh, right. before diamonds were marketed as such. So again, lovely association with engagements and bridal. Let alone there's something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. But it's a gentle blue. It's not a contrast blue. It's I mean, you could even stitch those into the veil or into the gown or into the garter. Yeah. You know. Really pretty. Beautiful, gentle tone. I'm going to ask you a question. I know we've just jet taken that to six ninety five. Honestly, with that quality, what price would you have thought we would have gone to? A jewellery maker price. Yeah, a jewellery maker price. Only an honest Honestly, price. Probably a jewellery maker price. Fourteen ninety five. At least, yeah. At least. I agree. I really do. So actually, I think that's half the price minimum that we should be. Lovely strength of, of that pale. Yet, yeah, what I love about it's quite a contradiction in terms, Aquamarine. It's a light blue, but it's still got a really yeah. It's got it's, an energy yeah, about it. Yeah, it's got it. that impact, hasn't yeah. it? Even though it's so yeah. subtle. Yeah. Um, I got there's something wrong with my eyes tonight. I mean, it's genuine. I'm going to have to check. I can't. I can't. <laughs> they are blinking, yes. I've got my contacts in. I have got my contacts in. I have got my contacts in. That's fine. Anyone can do one, hun. We'll do when one... Hang on. We'll, oh, sorry, let's try that again, eh, Glenda? <laughs> That's fine. Anyone can do one, hon. Oh, uh, we'll do when finished. That means sending it into the Wall of Fame. Thanks for... I hadn't finished. <laughs> Thanks for what? Could you not snatch things away, please? Sorry, Glenda. Thanks for a great evening. Kiss, 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 kiss. Pleasure. Nobody Thank likes a snatcher, you, do they? Yeah. Katie. No, no. Sorry for just saying, oh, I need to use that. No, but She's isn't it lovely to get yeah. a lovely idea yeah, like that? that you can just amazing, imagine yeah. that stitched into the... Yeah. Mm. Glenda. Oh, I love these. I made a piece of jewellery for a friend and she can't believe... I mean, I did feel a bit of a fraud, I'll be truthful, because I made a, my friend a, a necklace and, quite frankly, I used one of these and I added a clasp. And that is all I did. But she loves it. Because what I love about them is the way they hang. That, that one hangs in the centre on a necklace and then they balanced all the way yeah. up the neckline. Yeah. It looks so professional. Yeah. And all I did was add a... I don't, well, I say it, I did add two jump rings and a clasp, but I did add three things. Yeah, but all the work's been done for you there yeah. beautifully. All them chains are the exact same length, all the loops are the exact same size, so, yeah, I would definitely be But do you know what, though, for somebody like me that started out just making a necklace, they're making a stretchy, they're making a pair of earrings and being able to open 
and do a simple loop and a simple wrap loop and all the basics. For me to make a piece of jewelry like that, okay, granted I opened two jump rings and I added a clasp, fair enough. But the confidence it gave me to then try something else, yeah. that's what that did for me. And to, that boost, seeing my friend's face, who I love, wearing this all the time, and I, I gave her some pearl earrings at Christmas as well, made a big difference to me as how I felt yeah. about it proper... Just seeing somebody wear your Yeah, piece, it's yeah. a massive confidence boost. It, is. it really is when you see somebody that you love, a really good friend or a family member, where, I mean, imagine for Mother's Day making this for your mum. You know, it's the kind of jewellery that you would, you, you should be making for your mum. Yeah. You know, your mum, how you say it. Do you say mum or mum? Mum. Mum. Most people say mum, don't they? Yeah. A lot of us in the West Midlands, I was always a mum. Mum. And of course, mum and mum are so different. It's like a different name. Yeah. But my husband calls his mum, mum. Mum. A man, mum, yeah. mum. Yeah. <laughs> But these are beautiful. You don't have to use them as, as um, you could use them as the, as the, we see this all the time. A drop pearl earring like that. The classical look. Yeah? Simple yet elegant. And you could make a fair few out of that chain, couldn't you? Yes. Because it is uh, 48 centimetres if you want to set them into earrings. Oh, that's a good idea. I tell you what, I don't think I got mine for that price, Phil. Wow. I mean, just even just even making a 16-inch ne necklace along the back. Look at that, because I oh, think... We're, oh, yeah, it's just ooh. classic, isn't it? Doesn't that look lovely on the base of the neckline? It does. Isn't that lovely? I actually prefer that at the right there as, yeah. as like almost like a choker. Yeah. Great price, um, Phil. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I have to do these. Katie and I are desperate to do these, aren't we, lovely girl? Beautiful. Oh! Oh! Need, want, got to have. Oh! Oh, Katie, what do you think? Rings. Yeah. I'd love to. I just want them just like that. Just yeah. to sit. Just slit, where you just put that pearl yeah. necklace. Yeah. Shall I, shall, shall, yeah. I, shall I do it? We've not seen these for six long months. They, and they have got, that. it says gone metal, but it has got a lovely deep blue tone yeah, to yeah. them, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. It's absolutely gone. They are awesome. No two ways about it. They are, I mean, they add, even if it were possible to add more, more um, luster to a spinel, but they have. Oh, my word. And we start at a lovely um, 10 to 12 mil. Bit. So, again, it's a nice, um, quite, quite obvious graduation. But as I said, that, I mean, I, I, I those, because we do gunmetal, um, what's the word, uh, gunmetal coloured seed beads as well, don't oh, we? Yeah. Yes, we do. So, can you imagine putting some of the gunmetal yeah. seed beads with them? Oh. Why have we not had these for six months? They're lovely. You could bezel around, like you do a revolver. Yeah. yeah, you could bezel around them with your seed beads. Yeah. Oh, we've we got many, Phil. Oh, no, there's only 50 available. Oh, oh my <gasps> word. And the most brilliant price point, I've got to say. Gunmetal coated, 100 carats of black spinel under there. In these faceted button shapes, I'm going to give you an idea how many you got actually. Just give you an idea. We've got one, we've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen on there. I love the blue tones in that gunmetal. Just the way it catches the lights, that's yeah. stunning, isn't it? But as you say, just one on a ring. Yeah. How did I count then? 66 pin, how many did I count? 18, was it? Can I eight? 18, 18 yeah. solitaire rings there. Oh, you are loving these. You think the same way we do, don't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm so close. Because when, when you fall in love with it, you want everybody yeah. to fall in love yeah. with it, don't you? They are glorious. Who's just messaged? Who's it? Tanya, oh you poor thing. Now Tanya just said, evening. When would you be getting your guest designer to show Polly the clay, please? It's been ages, thanks. Tanya, we've done it tonight. This lady did it tonight, so I'll tell you what you do. 
Go to the Jewelry Maker webpage, scroll right down to the bottom and you'll see YouTube. Click on there and if you, it'll come up with the show today. Yeah. If you go to the 7 o'clock hour, what was it, about, about, if you go about 20 past, 25 past 7, yeah, about 20 past 7, fast forward, you will see a demonstration from Katie tonight. So I say it's been ages, it's been about hour and a half. Yeah. Yeah, hour and a half. Um, sat there said, hi, JM and crew. Absolutely agree with Zena. I am making a pearl with rough diamonds and the faceted on pendant. For oh, hang on. Rough diamonds and the faceted ones. Sorry, got you. Um, pendant for my mum for Mother's Day. Oh, and again, what mum or mom or what doesn't love something handmade? Yeah. That makes it priceless no yeah. matter what you're making. Oh, absolutely. Oh, how lovely. And I think faceted and diamond oh, nuggets yeah. must look amazing. I loved that before yeah, and after. Absolutely. These are proving very... Oh, hang on. Now, we only had 52. Hilma's had two. Tina's had two. Collector's had two. Raviola's had two. A lot of you going for two each. A lot of you checking out one each. They are going very, very quickly indeed. We must do the crazy agate. Are there any left? Now, we did the most brilliant deal earlier. You might, because like Tanya obviously wasn't watching earlier, it's not a problem, but we've got to show this again now. There are a few left. 75 have gone tonight. Right, 75 have gone. They are the crazy agate. You could say to somebody, because it's a heart that you're crazy for them, I'm crazy for you. It's a lovely sentiment. We have this amazing crazy agate heart pendant. It's got a beautiful side profile, both sides. It's got this lovely detail. Every single one is unique. Um, put it with a Chrysocola, put it with a two-tone Lapis Lazuli early, put it with those. In fact, imagine that as the necklace. Those blues, oh, I know, yeah. pick up the blues, wouldn't it? Oops, come here, come here. What do you think? Yeah? And this does actually look, if you've ever been on, now I was very lucky enough in my mid-twenties to go to the Maldives. Not with the wrong fella, but there you go. Well, I realised that when I got there. But we flew in a seaplane over the atolls of the Maldives. Oh, wow. And that is pretty much what you see. That beautiful vision there. And that lovely heart, an 80 carat genuine gemstone solitaire, 6.95. Now, we didn't start with a huge amount. It was our, um, our earlier star buy. And as I said, 75 went earlier on. We don't have that many left, do we, Phil? So if you would love to get that, I'll be going off to get that, definitely. Because I think they, I mean, earlier on we had, um, we had a sterling silver chain that went to 5 95 So 5 95 for a sterling silver chain if you want. I mean, you know, to add that to that, 5 95 and 6 95 is what? 12 pounds 90 12 pounds 90 you can make the whole piece. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's good, good going, isn't it? And it's 80 carats. 80 carat nice. solitaire cut into a beautiful, obvious heart. It's gorgeous. This is when I know my producer doesn't watch. Can you turn it to the side? Because I love the side. I've just done it! I did show both sides! Oh, I'll, sh oh, I'll tell you what. You'll be seeing a eh, bottom. There you go. <laughs> he said, can I see the bottom? I didn't wonder what he meant. I was thinking, do you mind? It's a bit inappropriate. I know we're after the watershed, but really, can I see the bottom? I was thinking, wait, can I see mine? I don't know about you. Uh, no. no. <laughs> Katie's like, no, I'm bothered. 6 95 Now, be quick, because we're going to go and get one when we come yes, off, aren't we? absolutely. We've got to go upstairs, because the other day... This, and I've got to th say thank you to Katie, because the other day we were watching... Katie was watching and I said, oh, we had these earrings, there was a flower and a bean. I told my friend about the, the pictures today. And I said, and then I said, any guest designers watching? And bless her, Katie came yeah. straight and said, do you want me to get them for you? And we're hoping yeah, they're upstairs. And it's going to be cash for across. She said, no. She went, no. I said, no. When I asked you, I said, you're not paying as well. I said, you're having the cash. Ruby, ra oh. Oh, hang on. Excuse me. Feel the weight of those. They're Ooh. Oh, you don't expect that, do you? No. Lovely feel to them. 
You're going to want to do that when yeah. you get, give them a go. Because the second you, you go, oh, there's an unexpected beautiful quality to those, as, as in weight-wise. You know, sometimes when you pick something up, you can just feel the quality. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, no, it's it's got that weight. They've got that yeah. lovely feel to them. Oh, and rounds. I've got to ask, oh my word, they are natural. Now, you know when you're making a Valentine's gift? Yeah? Ruby is the gemstone of love, passion, and romance. So that is going to be the... Can you imagine presenting somebody with, with a ruby necklace? Oh, wow. Or out of this, I think you could actually make a ruby necklace, a bracelet, and a pair of earrings if yes. you wanted yeah. to. Yeah. Because you could space them out with a pearl, you could space them out with silver spacers. Or you could knot them, maybe. You could yeah. knot them, absolutely. Three to five mil natural ruby rounds from India. Indian ruby, always very luscious in tone. Oh gosh, is that £24 saving? Is it? Wow, brilliant. 20 foot now I'm not saying that your Valentine isn't worth spending money on, but I tell you what, wonderful if you can actually go to something a little bit more out that you thought was out yeah. of your price range and give the person that you love those incredible, beautiful, natural rubies. And how lovely to get a round in a ruby, isn't it? And it's not often that we we see the rounds, especially Very when you've rare. got a nice graduation of size there as exactly. well. Exactly, three to three to yeah. five mil. Really pretty. Um, absolutely natural. Now, do you remember what I said earlier if you were watching earlier on? Rubies and sapphires are one of the hardest gemstones on, on the planet, only surpassed by diamonds. So again, the joy is, people say to me, why do you care how hard a gemstone is? Because it's more, it's less susceptible rather to knocks and scratches. Yeah. So you can enjoy wearing them all yeah, the time and not so think... You, so you, I, I always think, think about that, that scale when it comes to wearing bracelets. Yeah, exactly. Because that's the one way if you're on a computer, you know, it's Yeah, and you're driving it, on yeah, your steering yeah, wheel and, and things. Absolutely fine. Don't worry too much about that. Can you imagine actually just making a beautiful ruby bracelet, a pure <gasps> ruby natural bracelet? We've got a minute of the show left. Oh, oh gosh, sorry everybody. I was so, we were so uh -huh. in, enjoying ourselves. That really went crept up, didn't it? It did. It's flowing tonight. What, do, well, the good news is, if you've enjoyed tonight, and we hope you have, it's us again tomorrow. It is. Is it? We haven't seen you for ages. No. I haven't seen you've been on with you for and then I get you twice. Yeah, <laughs> it is. So and, oh, just quickly, we've got these spinel coming up on the show tomorrow. This is a glimpse of the lovely spinel that our lovely Katie is going to teach you how to work with tomorrow. Can you slide that round? Thank you. She's just going to twist it round for you. And that's the demo you're going to do tomorrow, isn't it? It is. So, a little sneaky peek of what's on the show tomorrow. So, please do join us. This lovely lady, Katie, myself, this fantastic late show crew, and more importantly, you, tomorrow from 6. <laughs>Getting started with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier, so why not give it a go today? Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs.